for you, Mustafa. Let us focus a little bit in your name so we can make you famous. So Mr. Mustafa, he is an extremely philosopher. Actually, philosophy is born out of Islam. And the philosophy of Islam is very simple. You love God, this God, he love your penis. He will do anything he can to make your penis happy. It's a happy penis religion. In other words, it's a penis he God. And that actually convinced me that this God is a true God, because God must be a pimp these days. So, Mr. Mustafa, he said, sinner is Adam, but how can we be sinner too? That's a good question, Mr. Mustafa. <laughs> sinner is Adam, how we can be? You stupid idiot. Don't you commit? Are you saying you don't commit sin? Even your prophet Muhammad, the potato, himself, his God said to him, may Allah forgive your sin, so we can be sinner. So he's saying, you Christians, you believe in original sin. Okay, Adam is a sinner, all right? So, but how we can be sinner too? Since we were babies, look, look here. Even since we were, first of all, who is the stupid he said to you that Christians believe that you are a sinner since you were a baby? No, we don't believe in such a thing. This is why Jesus said, if you don't become like those little ones, you will not enter the kingdom of my father, which means for those kingdom of heaven is guaranteed. Why? Because they are sinless. So this is your stupid understanding of Christianity. And this is very, very, very acceptable because you are following a stupid prophet who spent his life. He think that the Christian believe that there's a guy, his name is Allah and his son is Jesus and his wife is Mary. I mean, little kid, a little Muslim kid today, he understand the trinity of the Christians. It is Father, Son, Holy Spirit. There's no Mary. But your stupid God, like Muhammad, he, that's it, he's stuck there. He think Mary is the wife of God. And they get a baby, his name is Jesus. So this is why you are so silly, so stupid, and you yourself saying illogical. I love it when a Muslim, he says illogical. Is it logical that in Islam, Jesus have no father? What is the logic of that? You see, I understand Adam is the first man. He is a creator from mud. So he have, he's not born anyway. So how, he will not have a father. But how a, a child is born and he have no father? I mean, so you see here, the Muslim logic is always work when they want and it doesn't work when they want. So imagine if the Quran did not say that Mary, she gave birth to Jesus with no father. The Muslim will be laughing at us. The Muslim will make thousands of articles about that. But because the Quran, the yellow pages of Muhammad, said that, so nobody complained it. They accepted it. That's it. It's true. That's it. It's true. I mean, by the way, my mom, she gave birth to me and she have no man. Yeah. She downloaded me from the internet. This is your stupid logic. It wake up when you want. You are a hypocrite like your prophet. So first in Christianity, we don't believe that you are a sinner even when you are a baby. That's why babies are granted to go to heaven. But the fact, as long as you mention this, you idiot, you just get your prophet busted. Because it's your prophet Muhammad, Aka the child molester Muhammad. He go after babies for sex, and yet he believed that babies might go to hell. Let us go and see what your prophet said about babies. Are they going to go to heaven? Are they? Let us see. This is your... Uh, child victim wife for Muhammad exposing your crazy man Muhammad and she went with him to a funeral you know for a child because she's a child too she liked to attend but obviously now she is getting uh, 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 you know like uh, older obviously she is by the way she is smart not like Muhammad so uh, so uh, Allah Messenger and Aisha they went to a funeral and this funeral it was for a baby who did not commit sin and he did not reach the age of committing sin read carefully abdul you see it's you who said that is it logical that uh, you know for us we don't believe in that for us we believe babies are not sinners allah messenger there's a happiness for the child whom a bird from birds of paradise it commit no sin nor has reached the age when one can commit sin this is aisha speaking
Make makes sense. I right, just speaking logic. What doesn't make sense is this Chipet Muhammad. Read carefully. He said, which means Muhammad, Aka Qatham, the praised one. I mean, even your name is a, is a worshipping of a man. Praised one. So who is God? You see, Muslims are mushrikeen, kuffar. They believe Muhammad is the praised one. The second you call him Muhammad, you are saying he is God. But anyway, continue. So Muhammad now is schooling Aisha because she have a lack of intellect. As he said, women, they have lack of intellect and intelligence and religion. And this is a statement of Muhammad, not mine. But obviously, Aisha here proving that she have way more intellect and intelligence from the stupid Muhammad. Because look what he said. Aisha, she believed that a child who did not commit sin, he should go to heaven. It not only did not commit sin, did not reach even the age to commit sin, which means proving it. She's using a logic. Uh, 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 this is what Aisha she said, and then the, the funny Muhammad said, <laughs> It might be otherwise, Aisha. Uh, 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 uh. Like, what the heck? So, Mr. Abdul, who speak about Lozik, hey Abdul, Mr. Lozik, it might be otherwise, Mr. Lozik, brother and sister. Did it make sense, brother? That's the money, the baby, and then it will go to heaven. No, brother. Allah created people who go to hell when they are babies, even before he created him. So you eat it, you just shot your prophet in his testicles, if you have any. Even since we were babies, logic, logic, what is your logic? So do you see how you got your prophet busted? According to your tomato potato Muhammad, I like tomato potato, I take it back. This guy is disgusting. According to your PhD farting qualified prophet, I mean, if you go right now in the hadith and search for the word farting, you cannot create the biggest dictionary of stories in the world. I mean, is that a religion? I will type in English. Just be my witness. Just logic, logic, guys. This Islam is religion. Islam is religion, and they speak about logic. I will type the word fart in English, not in Arabic. Fart. May Allah fart on you. What is this? The Prophet said, the prayer of a person who does hadith, passing urine stall or wind this is all his hadith hey, that's a lot of things this guy was praying now and all those things came out poo poo and urine stall and wind it doesn't have anything left what about you say lotus uh, shish kebab hummus i mean all of this is coming out okay and then the prayer is not accepted <sighs> makes sense because God, he received it with poo-poo. I mean, the guy, the poor guy was a praying, he farted. Allah, that's it, Allah, he will not take it. Because this God, he's a vacuum machine, he suck your prayer with the farting. It's not acceptable, brother. What is this, man? I mean, you will take the prayer of the man. I mean, you're God, he created him, and you gave him, and actually farting is, is a gift. To human being, imagine your body don't get, cannot get rid of the gas you have inside you. You would die. It's not something negative. It's the opposite. When a human being he pee, or a human being he fart, that because he is healthy. If that is stopped, you die. Your kidney is dead. So your God get upset because of farting. Okay, continue. Another story. Another story. Another story. Another story. I mean, we can continue until like. But you know, the Prophet and his logic always makes sense for Muslims. As an example, this one. <clears throat> Excuse me if I, you know, damage your night or your evening. It is Sunday, 
and the, or you wake up, you go to Christian Prince channel, you you know what you, he's talking about farting. I mean, what you expect? We're talking about Islam, my friend. If you don't like to hear those things, don't come here. You know, the Prophet, in his logic, he made a connection which nobody connected because he's a genius. He says there's a strong connection between the farting and methanol and the increase of global warming and shaitan. Look what Muhammad's the first one who discovered global warming, actually. You see, global warming is not really happening because of the cows, as some people say. The global warming happening because shaitan, he fought each time a Muslim, he say, Allahu Akbar. ISIS doing jihad. They see the enemy, Allahu Akbar. I mean, they see Allahu Akbar for anything. A guy beating his wife, he say Allahu Akbar. The wife she is beating the husband, he say Allahu Akbar. The guy having sex with his wife, he say Allahu Akbar. He go to the bathroom, taking off his pants, he say Allahu Akbar. He see the enemy, they say Allahu Akbar. They run from the enemy, they say Allahu Akbar. They lose with Israel, they say Allahu Akbar. And this is the result of Allahu Akbar, shaitan fart. So after all this farting, which is extremely unpredictable, because it's fast, it's fast. I mean, look, you say Allahu Akbar, shaitan. You know, that's too, I mean, this guy is so, it's it's like a medicine for shaitan. Like you say to him, Allah, like, it's like the opening, like it's the password. So when shaitan, he hear the call of a prayer, he turn back, look, hold on. Look at the shaitan, how is rude he is. He don't just fart, he turn his back to Allah. And he break wind to the one who is saying Allahu Akbar. So like you are a Muslim, saying Allahu Akbar, shaitan, he don't just fart. He will turn his back to you. In your face, because you are bending down, right? You are praying. So now you are bending over, and then Shaitan he bent over in front of you, and you know, like what the what the heck? So when you make an article about logic, is that farting logic is what you are using? That there's a connection between fart and God. So your God don't accept your prayer when you fart. And Shaitan, when he hear the name of your God, he fart. And you're a prophet. When he do poo poo the earth open and swallow his poo poo because it smells so good and yummy. I mean, that's his extreme logic. I, you know, we have we have to agree. You, you know, this religion is made by a genius. Not genius, genius. I mean, genius. He's a genie. So, okay. <clears throat> Now we knew how farting and why the mosque smells so bad. Because obviously everybody there is saying Allahu Akbar, shaitan is farting all over the place. And this is explained why there's a guard next to the black stone. He have a spray in his head. Psh, 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 psh. Smell is so bad, man. So when you speak about logic, my friend, you made us laugh. And you know, remember one thing, when I go live in the morning, I don't really have a topic. I look at the comment, and the comment is really hilarious for Muslims. So, this Muslim here, he just now, this is, we did not even finish the first line. And we got a disaster about Islam. I mean, everybody is dying laughing about your God. Did we finish the first line line? We did not. This is not even the first line of your statement. And we can make a video of 10 hours laughing at you. Now, you got what you do, what you do, brothers, sisters. Just believe is not enough. What, what, what? You get what you did. You got what you did. Ah, he is saying to you that you will get uh, what you deserve based on what you did. Okay, that's good. So what Muhammad will deserve when he kidnap a woman from her family and he rape her? What Muhammad will get when he chop a woman two pieces when she's alive and she was over the age of 80 and he raped his, her daughter later. What Muhammad he will get? What well, you tell me, you know, I think Muhammad is, is a very innocent man, very decent man. His hand is not, there's no blood in it. No blood, no slavery, nothing. You know, and the funny, the Muslims, I saw a Muslim video saying, he was making a speech in a city hall in USA. He said, in this same building, the one who built this building was a slave owner. I was dying, all those idiot American who do not know Islam. None of them, he says to him, isn't it your prophet was a slave owner and he is a sl slave seller? This is what happened 
when a Muslim he made a speech in front of a bunch of ignorant. And that's why we are here. We are here to teach you how not to be ignorance, ignorant. You know, all of us, we have a form of ignorance. As an example, I make a lot of mistakes in English, right? This is an ignorant, I mean, this is ignorance because you don't know the language very well. That's, you know, but that does not affect me as a person uh, because even with this ignorance, still I can deliver a clear message to people who listen to me. So it doesn't affect my thinking, doesn't affect my uh, knowledge, doesn't affect it's anything. But this ignorance can affect you and can destroy you. The Bible says my people are destroyed because of their ignorance. And this is what the Muslim try to play with. If you are an ignorant and they are talking to you and there's a speech here, you might fail into their trap. So look what this guy is saying. You get what you deserve, brother. So why you don't say that to your prophet, you idiot, who a child he might go to hell? You got what you deserve. Okay, why this child he deserved to go to hell? Can you tell us? Look what your funny God he said. It might be otherwise, which means about the baby who's an infant who died and he did not reach the age of sin. It might be otherwise, Aisha, because Allah created for paradise those who are fit for it. So the baby is a baby, and now he not he don't fit for the paradise, brother. But in your comment, you are saying the opposite. There is one of two choices. Either you are a certified donkey who carry books in the top of his back and you do not know what you have, or you are a certified liar who knows the books and you are lying about it. And you know, speaking about donkeys carrying books, don't be offended, please, because that was a verse in the Quran. The Quran says, and the funny the Quran says that this is an Arabic book, but nothing there is Arabic. If you go in the Quran, you will see Muhammad uh, uh, speaking about Muhammad trying to be a wise man. Saying the similarity of those who in charge with the law is the same as those who carry, the same as the donkey who carry the books in their back. You see it? <laughs> but look, he's talking, a person, he Muslims claim that you do not know how to write, how to read. So as long as you do not know how to write, how to read, how you will know the law of Moses? Any Muslim can tell us? Muhammad, speaking about donkey who carry books, and that donkey presents a human being. But isn't it, this is the same story for Muhammad? Because now if we give Muhammad the Torah, and we say to Muhammad, what is inside the Torah? Muhammad will be exactly that donkey who do not know how to read the book. He hold the book, he carry the book, but he cannot read the book. So how you can complain about not able to understand and read, and you are the last one to do so? And here we ask ourselves, why does God Explain to us three days, three nights, topic, Jesus, okay, later, later. My guys, don't focus with me in the topic we are talking about. When we say we are done, you can ask me questions additional to what we are talking about. So here you see that Muhammad is giving us a great example of his stupidity. He's talking about those who carry books, who do not know the book, but do he know the book? The Quran says no. The Quran says that Muhammad, he do not know what the book, he do not know what faith, he do not know what Islam is about, he do not know what God is about. So if we go here, we will see. Do Muhammad knew what, what faith? Do Muhammad knew what is uh, uh, religion? What is God? No, he don't. You know, he's a person who have no idea what he is believing in. So, if there is a Muslim would like to go and you know, like to to call us and you know, read with us, if there is any Muslim. Do we have any Muslim here? He is, you know, he is. Uh... 
would like to join us live on air. Huh? If there is any Muslim who would like to join us live. When I say a Muslim is somebody who believe in Islam, and that means you believe in Islam as as religion, as a books, not your fantasy. I don't want somebody to give me his own fantasy. Do we have anyone? Well, if there is, uh, if there is anyone who think he can, you know, help us, please feel free. I will be happy to take you. So, if we read this verse here, it says, and this is a chapter forty-two. It says, and this is the Muslim translation of mine, which is absolutely false. And thus have we, by our command, okay, sent inspiration to thee. But did Muhammad receive inspiration? This is this is stupidity, you know. Well, Muhammad receive inspiration. Is it Muhammad who receive a voice message from Jibril? That is not inspiration. Obviously, the one who wrote the Quran and the one who translated the Quran, both of them are stupid, confused. You do not know even what the word inspiration means. Inspiration is not somebody giving me a message by voice. That is not inspiration. So if somebody now, he called me by phone, he said, Christian Prince, uh, you have a bill to pay of $30. That is an inspiration or this is a message I received. Here you notice how stupid Islam is. Jihad Yusuf, I blocked you. No, Jihad Yusuf, I did not block you. You are a dummy. You are the one who hang up. Why you lie, Jihad Yusuf? Let me call you. Hold on. Jihad Yusuf, you remember him, the guy who, you know, he, he gave up, he, he, he ran. When he sh I showed him that his God is speaking about the penis of Muhammad standing up in the Quran. And he said that he watched a video of a, of a, of a girl, her name is Fifi. And she said that this is a lie. And then when I showed him the reference in the front of his eyes, he jumped with the wind. He says, you have your religion, I have mine. So why you lie? He says, I blocked you. I did not block you. Let me call you. Here we go. Let me look for Jihad Yusuf. Go online, Jihad. I will call you immediately. Where is your name? Text me, text me, Jihad. <clears throat> Let me see if I can search you. Jihad Yusuf, here we go. I found you. Hmm? And you said I blocked you? Hmm. Okay. It is called Jihad Yusuf. You, you, a person saying you cannot call Fifi by her name. Why I want to call her by her name? If she call me, then I will consider her as a man. If a person don't dare to let me call and don't dare to speak to me, yet he he or she claim that they can refute me. That's as that is a she for me. I decide to change the gender of the person based on their behavior. You don't dare to call me. You don't dare to let me call you. And then you claim you can debate me anywhere. 
What a kid. All of you are a bunch of kids. And Jihad, where are you, man? So you are in the chat, and I now try to call you in Skype, and you did not answer. Yet you claim that I blocked you. We have Muhammad Qasim, he sent me a message here. I don't know if he's live on air, let's see. So who is the who is the you know I mean look at them we we go like we try to call them they say they can refute us they say they can answer us yes Mr. Muhammad I see you have a message from me saying you would like to join when I'm live correct yeah that's right are you live now yes we are live on here and we are talking about your prophet do your prophet have any faith what channel is it what 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 channel are you live on i don't know allah knows best my friend i can send you a link <laughs> if you want yeah you don't know my channel uh, you call me every day you join my chat every day and now you are saying to me what channel come on so i'm asking you now do allah do allah prophet have faith i'm a bit busy right now i'll speak to you some other time what are you doing nikah <laughs> no nikah well, if, you want, if you're doing nikah then you know i don't know i hear sound of uh, okay so okay no problem take care take care he's busy right now doing nikah do we have any muslim who is not doing nikah anyone look like what channel you are in what channel okay i'm everywhere my friend like what channel? I get the guy. He come here every day. He stay in my chat for ten hours, and now he's asking like, "Where are you?" Like he don't know. Like you know, like like suddenly he lost his mind and his memory. Ah, he was bewitched like the prophet. Things happen. Things always happen. So Jihad Yusuf, are you going to come on Skype so I can call you? What happened to you, man? Christopher, you will call? Okay, text me, Christopher. Text me so I will, I will see your text, my friend. <clears throat> I will be waiting for you to text me. All right, so if we ask the Muslims, do Muhammad have any faith? What is the religion of Muhammad? You see, we will go, the title there is about God, he sent himself, like, etc. you know. Just to make it simple about that title, because we don't want to forget what we, what we came for. My friend, the message and the messenger present how important it is. So, when God, he refused to come to Muhammad, and he refused to speak to Muhammad according to your books, that means Muhammad is not important. Imagine there is a king. He meets everybody, except one person in this kingdom. Obviously, this person is Zorosleth. That is Muhammad. In your book, it says that God, he came to Moses and he spoke to Moses, which is a story starting from the Old Testament. Did you ask yourself why God himself, he came to Moses? He came to Moses. If you say he did not come, I mean, this is your problem because the Quran says a different story. Even the God of supposedly of Muhammad, he says to Moses to take off his shoes because he is in the holy ground. Hello? 
Christian place? Yes, my friend. I'm an ex-Muslim. Uh, I'm a Christian now, but can I have, ask you a question? Well, that's uh, wonderful to hear, my friend. Even though we don't take question, uh, I mean, calls from ex-Muslims, but we will take you, no problem. What do you like to say, that's quite. Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, in in Africa, when uh, there is eclipse, uh, yeah. mo Muslims uh, they they uh, they beat on they beat on drums, they sacrifice milk, they get scared. Hmm. It, is there any any trace of that in? hadith or anything like that well you know some some details you mentioned is not really from what muhammad said but muhammad he did something others like that he pray a lot when there's an eclipse he rush he gets scared he get terrified uh so uh, uh obviously muhammad was more terrified than your uh, friends in africa as an example if you go to the chapter of the moon i don't know if you heard of it chapter one chapter uh, the moon verse number one so it says uh, 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 when when the, the the sun disappear or the moon disappear uh, or look like the moon is split asunder, uh, Muhammad he claimed that this is a sign from the judgment day. You know, but all of us we knew that this is have nothing to do with judgment day. Otherwise, judgment day should happen long time ago. I mean, th this is a statement Muhammad he mentioned uh, fourteen hundred years ago that the moon is split asunder. And Judgment Day is a sight, like it's in the corner. Uh, so Muhammad, obviously, he is a person who is uh, uh, he's terrified with such a, 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 a thing happened, and he could not explain what happened. And you see, the Muslims they say here, this is the Prophet splitting the moon, but the verse doesn't say anything about Allah splitting the moon or even Muhammad splitting the moon. It says the hour, the judgment is night, and the moon cleft ascender. That's it. There's no okay, God. thank you. So here you see the, the, the start of this madness. And then if you go in the hadith, you will see, you will see tons of reference of Muhammad, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 you know, uh, to go crazy. And even Muhammad, he, uh, uh, he, he, because he's so, he, you see Muhammad, he knew he's guilty. He knew he's filthy. He knew he's a bad person. And you know, Muhammad, he owned a lot of slaves, right? Yes. Okay. So because Muhammad, he knew that this is bad, but he owned them and he keep them. But when the eclipse come, he ordered them to free some slaves. Okay. Why? Because he believed that this is a penalty from God. God is angry. So he said to them, when the eclipse happened, free some slaves, but don't free all your slaves. You know, it's like bribing God, you know? So he will, he will be less angry from us. So Muhammad, obviously he knew that he's a filthy person who is owning slaves for no reason. And then thank you so much thank you so much that's why that's why that's why they they they, they give him milk to as a, as a sacrifice so to, they, they don't have much they have milk and they don't rice. have they yeah have. they don't have slaves they don't have so it that's, yeah, that's what they give milk exactly. away yeah, that's, yeah. Yes, yes and then yes. If, if you go and this and this is the reference i was showing the screen by the way this is sahir bukhari the hate i mentioned to you uh, uh sahir bukhari hate number two five two zero and then if you go you will see that when the eclipse happened muhammad he go crazy in his prayer you yes, know. they pray longer hours too. They pray all night till the eclipse is over. They, yeah, they Muhammad he make an exceptional pr prayer when the eclipse uh, happen. You know. Yeah. Okay. All right. My second question. Okay, can I have another question? Sure, I, sure. I go, ahead. go ahead. No problem. From which country, my oh. friend, you are? Uh, originally from you know West Africa, but I'm now you, you, in in the US. I'm now living in the US. Yeah. Um, I did. I'm, a, I'm, 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 I did a seminar yeah. actually last month. Like people, mm -hmm. when I was away, they thought that they thought I'm just taking a vacation. I, I did a seminar, and all the seminar I have only two uh, European, and the rest, all of them, they were African. They are from Ghana, from Nigeria, from uh, from many like all African countries. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Very nice people. But so what? My okay. second question is like uh, in, in Morocco. I, I used to go to Morocco. Mm -hmm. And in in the in, in their story, uh, when you baby any little young kid, they when they when they do do haircut, they they leave a little bucket on the back of your head. Mm -hmm. So uh, when you die, uh, uh, Muhammad will put you will pull you with that hair to go to heaven. Mm -hmm. is, is there any trace of that in any any place in in Islam? 
Well, I, this is, you know, I mean, there's many, many things. I don't remember really any hadith speaking of that. If I remember, I'll okay, okay. You know, I don't remember okay. anything. But, you know, there's many things the Muslims believe. Uh, it's just a silly, stupid stuff, you know. I mean, somebody, okay, okay. Thank uh, you so it, much. it can be somebody spreading a rumor or a statement and people believe it, you know. People are desperate, okay. you know. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, like, thank you so much, Bertha. Thank do, you very much. Like, Muhammad, he will grab you from your hair. Like, what about your hand? <laughs> you know? I was so silly to me, but I was like, okay. Yeah. Actually, the Quran, the Quran says the opposite. The Quran says that the the one who is a liar, Allah will grab him from his hair. So, uh, 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 you know, I don't know how how those people they come to this conclusion, but uh, uh, if you go in the Quran, you will see the Quran speaking many times about that. Uh, let us see here, if you go to chapter 96. You know, you can read some of about it, you know. So, uh, uh, you actually, the Muslim, they made a video about it, claiming that, uh, the you know, uh, this is here about a person who is a liar, and uh, uh, Allah will grab him from his forehead. But the fact, okay. and, they speak, and they say the forehead is the place where the line in the brain, but the fact, the verse is speaking about grabbing him from his hair. This is why in Irvin, their translation says his forelock. This is okay. chapter 96, verse number 15. So, according to the Quran, is the opposite of what those Moroccan are practicing, because the God of Islam will grab the one from his hair if he is a liar, and he is not a good person in Islam. You know, not the opposite. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Take care, my friend. Oh, thank you so much. Have a good day. You're welcome. The funny is, I saw Muhammad Ishmael when I was talking. He said to me, "Not a true." Hey, Muhammad Ishmael, why you don't call me and tell me what is not a true? How many slaves your prophet he have, Mister Not a true? Hmm. That's not a true. Why you don't make a song? It's called not a true, not a true. Christian Prince, not a true. Okay, but what is not a true? I challenge you, Muhammad Ishmael, to be a truthful person and to give me a call. As you see, it's for free. It costs you nothing. Do you like to call me? No, oh, we have the Sheikh is texting me. Oh, let us, we have a sheik. Hold on. <coughs> Hello? Who are you, sheik? Hi, are you alive? Yeah, alive. And I, this is the first time I hear a sheik saying hi. That You are a modern sheik, my friend. Yeah, I was uh, checking through the YouTube, but I didn't see your live video. I am invisible today, you know. Cause I'm trying to go on YouTube, you know, to really? see. But I don't know. I'm. I don't know. Maybe maybe YouTube hide my channel. I don't know. But there's uh, uh, almost one thousand people they join already. So I don't know why you cannot find me. So what is the video called? Uh, it's called God sent Himself to be His Son. Okay, one second. I just want to get the video, you know, in order in case you were gonna post something. Yeah. Maybe you recently started. <clears throat> No, I mean recently. Yeah, I mean not long time ago, but it should be there yeah, if you are a subscriber. Yeah, on a Christian to... Prince live, because usually when your videos start, it says premiering now. All right, no problem. So my friend, uh, we were asking um, uh, about uh, something about Muhammad. Do Muhammad have faith? Does Muhammad have what? Faith, faith. Do he believe in anything? Well, he's a Muslim. He believes in Allah. Do he believe really in Allah? Well, of course, I I'm, mean, I'm, according to my studies, yes. I'm really surprised. So how the Quran says in chapter 42, verse number 52, that he do not know what revelation is, and he do not know what faith is. How, yeah, how, you, how that happened? Are you sure it says that? Yeah, I'm sure. Let me call a friend before I can yeah, show you that. Okay, I called a friend and he confirmed that. Well, yeah. I mean, you read it, but... The problem is you never read it with understanding. Okay, you read it for us with understanding. That's why you are here, my friend. Uh, Quran uh, chapter, which which verse and which chapter? Chapter 42, 
verse number 52. 42 verse 52, okay. Harry, right, thank you. Hmm. Chapter 42 verse 52. 4252. You're talking it's like a about music, my friend. Honestly, it's like a music. 4252. Unbelievable. I love this chapter. 4252. Muhammad getting busted. Unbelievable. Okay, read with me. In a similar way, we have revealed to you a spirit from our command. You did not know earlier what was the book or what was Iman. Hmm. But we have made it the Quran a light with which we guide whomever we will from among our servants and indeed you are guiding people to a straight path so no you read it with misunderstanding what this ver what this verse is saying mm -hmm. and i'm surprised i didn't come across it but what this verse is saying is that um indeed in a similar way we have revealed to you a spirit from our command mm -hmm. you did not know earlier what was the book or what was iman true faith but we had made it the Quran a light with which we guide whomsoever we will from among our servants. Meaning that the Quran is the last and final revelation which mm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knew when the perfect time was to preserve it so mm. that the people can be guided. And this is the book that will never be corrupted. Mm. Mm. That's the meaning of the verse. Okay, are you done? Yes, go okay. ahead. I want you to focus with me. Okay. Okay. Put your hands over your eyes and if like, you know, like little, you know, when you wake up, you know, in the morning, so you can see carefully with me. Read with me here, it says, you know nope. not, you know not what is the book, nor what is faith. What is that? Continue. Okay, you can continue, no problem. Continue reading. I'm listening. You did already. You did read the whole verse. I'm not going to repeat the whole verse twice, three times, five. There's no point. My point you is have here. To, you have to. No problem. You read you it. Okay. Continue. Read. Okay. Continue. You read it. Okay. You have to. So look. what? I mean, okay. We have the Quran light, but what it says, you do not know what book and you do not know what faith is. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Just listen. Hmm. When you when you're reading, mm -hmm. continue reading the full verse. So no. that you can get an understanding. Well, the verse is over. There's no verse, by the way, here. When Muslim they say verse, this is something you store from our Bible. Even the Quran does not have chapters, does not have verses. This is something you, numbers, I mean, those are better. We do not even know how to make numbers. It says, you know not. What is why, the book? Why exactly do you not? You know you not, know you not. know not what is the book. And you have so why, no, why was, okay, do you know, why do, do the, Muhammad knew before he became a prophet? Do you know, do he knew what faith is? And you listen? Well, I, I decided listen? to listen. You said continue reading. One second, one second. Calm down. You know, things are good. You know, just uh -huh. take a break. Uh -huh. You're reading this stuff. Let, let us, let us, I be, let us, became, let us, let us became Hindu, me and you do yoga. What does that mean? Come on, my friend. It just answer look, me. It says, look. nor what is faith. Your prophet, he have no idea what faith is. He was an atheist. He was? He was. Are you, know you going to talk or are you going to let me talk? I let you talk, you don't talk. And then I you said to continue reading. I'm waiting. Okay, I'm waiting ahead. for you okay. respectfully. If you want to say something, say something. I say if something. If you want me to talk, I'll it talk. It is time for you to say something. You said to me, continue reading. Okay. Hmm. One, that was back. That was earlier. Uh, two hours you ago. You said okay. you don't want to continue reading. Okay, now I'm ahead. answering. You. Wonderful. Go. You read this stuff. First of all, the biggest problem is you read them out of context. You don't understand them. Hmm. Second of all, when you look at this stuff in a way, I already told you who My I am. My friend, don't I tell me how to stuff. look at it. I want the answer. I, stop look, stop playing I, in the bushes. You yeah, know, there is no toilet paper to save you now. You can use only no, rocks and no, stones. No, 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 so no, don't, no, no, no. Don't I am play not games. Okay, bit. it says, Listen. nor he have faith. Don't go around. Listen. I don't want you to teach me how to understand it. I want you to make it clear for us. That's all. I am making it clear okay, for then you. Go to the, there is, go to the answer. There is, Stop talking about how a, to read. and how, Go to your prophet how to read. Now, I'm asking you, it says that he have or no he faith. couldn't read and write anyway. We, we, we never denied that, did we? Well, because you're ignorant. There's no word it says he cannot read No, no, write. no. That's why we know. That's why we have proof okay, that the Quran Abdul, is the word of Allah. We, we, will go, we will go there now, later, after we finish this one. So it says in Muhammad, he never have faith. What does that mean? 
That then then why was the Quran preserved? They were changed topic. The Quran never preserved. The goat ate it. Why? No. Oh, the the weak Hassan Hadith is showing. How it's how it's weak? <laughs> you stupid! You just said Hassan. Hassan means good. How it is weak and Hassan? It's not backed up by chains of narration. <laughs> just stop. Stop playing games. Anyway, listen. I want you now to tell us. You see, you are going all over the place. You are like a chicken who's trying to say that she have an egg, but there's no eggs. You cannot lay eggs because you are a rooster. You forgot look, yourself. Look, look. So look how confused I, you listen. are. You are confused about your gender. You are a chicken who think it's a rooster, and this rooster can claim to have to have eggs, and yet he have no eggs. But I am asking you now. It says, "Know what is faith." Stop playing a game. I asked you the question 15 minutes ago, and until now you are going in circle. So, why Muhammad don't have any faith, and he's 40 years old? What was his religion? He, he does have faith. I'm like I'm explaining to you once. All you have to do is be quiet. That's all. You, you, That's all. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I'm explaining to you once. He does have faith. When you read these verses, you have to read them with understanding. Okay. This is the biggest problem with you. You go you ahead. Stop several, being a stupid. Several, Here we go. I'm He's talking about I'm my coming. problem now. Forget my I'm problem, coming. my friend. You now give me solve the problem. Forget about my problem. Each time I give you the microphone to answer, you says you don't understand. This is the real problem. This is the, I. We got it. We got it. It's you who's a genius. It says here, know what is faith. Muhammad, he did not even know what faith is, and you say he have. So are you are you saying the Quran is a stupid? No, the Quran is correct. You're not continuing. You're not continuing. Continuing reading, reading doesn't the verse. matter. It says he have no faith. The word is so clear. No, what is faith? Continue reading. That's all you have to do. Okay, shall I hang up on you because you will not answer me? I am answering you. Don't run you away. You are not answering. Video so uh, why you are skipping? Here. Why you are skipping an important sentence? And you say continue reading because the word, the the the, the reading after have nothing to do with this. It's like, except it the says ones that, except the now ones it's that saying have, now we gave now we listen. gave you a book. Now we gave you a book. Now you will have a faith. Now, this is what it's saying. But before that point, Muhammad, you have no book. You have no faith. Do you agree? That's talking about the preservation of the Quran. What Quran preservation? You have he, no he did not give him Quran yet. This is before Quran. He says, "You know not what is the book." You no, know meaning, not he, what is meaning, the book. meaning to the meaning to the ummah, meaning to the ummah, <laughs> all the people that are that are in the world, in the world, <laughs> there hasn't been a book that has yet come. Idiot. This is what happens when you try to squeeze an empty mayonnaise bar. There's no mayonnaise, even farting, there's nothing there. You squeeze him until tomorrow, nothing will come out. This is about reserv what is reservation of the Quran, you idiot. I continue reading. What this guy is talking about? I mean, look how simple the verse, even this one, they want to make it something else. And the funny, you claim that you are a sheikh and you never passed by this verse before? You are a skipper, aren't you? You like to skip things. Hey, Sheikh Jihad, how are you? Hello. Hey, hello, Sheikh Jihad, how are you? Yeah, I'm going to comment on that verse. Okay, go ahead. So, you knew not what is the book, nor what is faith. Mm -hmm. Simply put, my friend, this is referring to before Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam was a prophet. So before he got any revelations, he doesn't know anything. Okay, wonderful. until he got the knowledge. See, this is this is an answer of a of a person who is being honest. That guy who was playing games. Thank you, Jihad. So guys, he 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 don't know anything. He have no faith. So what was the faith for forty years of? But why? But why? Why is that something that you you think you want to get busted? Because before Moses, he got revelation. What does he know? He doesn't know anything. No, Moses, Before he, Jesus, he got no, revelation. No, what does no, he no, know? No, 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 no. You see, first of all, Jesus did not get revelation. Secondly, the prophet of God. You know, you see, don't you Muslim, you claim that even Adam was a prophet? Don't you Muslim? Adam that, was a prophet. Yeah, don't you Muslim claim, claim that Abraham, he, is a, he was a prophet? And uh, a, a couple of things. I want to bring hey, some Bible. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So now you don't no, say. You never let me so bring you don't no say, Bible. No, no, no. It's so you, when you say he, Moses don't have anything, this is a lie. You know? 
Because if you don't have anything, there's mean there's no Adam and there's no Abraham and there's no people before him. But those people they knew about God before before them. So you did lie about this one. Okay, Secondly, no, 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 no. Oh, what about so now, Abraham? Now, now, oh, Abraham, wonderful. Abraham, you Muslim, you Abraham. lie. You say Muhammad was Abrahamic before he became a prophet. Correct. Well, I. I... I, th that's a debatable issue. Some people say yes, some people say no. Which people you are? Huh? Which one you are? The one who say yes, the one who say no? Muhammad was Abrahamic or he was not? Which, which, which one is you? Well, I, I, I know he was from Quraysh and I know what the Quraysh believed then. Yeah, I know that. I, don't, I know, I know, yeah, I know that Trump, he lived in Florida. I know, I know. What does this have to do with my question? I'm asking you. Was he Abrahamic or not? I personally do not think he was Abrahamic, and there okay, are so many people who agree. So what he was? Huh? So what he was? Well, he was he he was with the my friend. I let me tell you. Tell he me. believed in what the local community believed in. Okay, they believed in statues and idols, idols, idol worshiper Hubal and. Uh, how, uh, well, yeah. he didn't know. He didn't know. What do you mean? Well, you just said to me. You just said to me. He believed in what the community believe, and the community believe in idols. Correct. Yeah, that's what they believed then. Okay, so Muhammad was an idol believer until the age of forty. When he received revelations from Allah, he he became the first muslim but there are some who believe he was abrahamic okay he he worshiped he worshiped one god so they are wrong or they are right this is the question because here it says nor what is faith so if you say he's abrahamic that's mean the quran lie this is this is something that we're not certain of you muslims are not, are not certain of anything this is why you keep saying allah knows best allah knows best are you certain about anything What is revealed in the Quran and what is in the Hadith, we're certain about it. Here we go. Okay, the Quran says he do not know what faith, and then you and then you answer to me, not okay, not, not sure. As I said, yeah, this is before his revelation. Okay, so so Muhammad before his revelation was a pagan person. Maybe he was a Hindu. It's Who? possible that he believed in what the local customs of the people of Quraysh okay, was so, believing in. Okay, so Muhammad before and what his so, and possibly what his what his uh, parents used to believe in. Exactly. So thank you very much, Mr. Jihad. I, I appreciate your honesty. You are more honest than the other potato. So based on what you said, he believed in what his parents believe and he do what his parents used to do. And what they used to do, they go naked around the Kaaba. Is that correct? Well, they go around the Kaaba, but they never went naked. Who said that? I, I never heard about that. Okay. Okay. Don't I, start making things up. I, well, I always I like to make things up. Here we go. This is a weak hadith. I, I want you to read it. And it says, Hisham narrated in the authority of his father that uh, uh, Arabs, with uh, exception of Homs, whatever, blah, 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 Quraysh, they used but I want to make a statement. I want to make a statement. Hold just on, hold on, hold on. They whatever, keep... he, whatever the prophet believed oh, no, 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 in before. No, 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 Jihad, hold on. You, you just said he did exactly what his parents used to do, and here it says. Yeah, they but used to just go, because they if, used if to he go did around, that, it they... doesn't mean it uh, doesn't mean anything. A second ago, you said I'm making things up, and now it's not making up. And this is, by the way, I said to you, this is a weak hadith. So, do you have a comment about weak hadith? It's a weak hadith. Let me see the grade. It says this uh, this guy he have a, like a, a D you know the one who wrote the hadith he's not good in grammar you know he can make up his mistakes I cannot accept Hassan you don't accept Hassan well this is Sahih my friend it's not weak here we go I'm just joking with you Sahih Muslim hadith number one two one nine B you see the B here like this is big uh, busting you know like busted you know. It says, remember, remember the hadith, one, two, one, nine, busted. 
okay so it says here that the arab and you said to me that the prophet used to do it the same as the arab as his parents they used but to go, exactly this is before with muhammad 40 years of his life you are the one who agree with it 40 years of muhammad life was in the time of a jahiliya which means the, the, the period of ignorance so muhammad was ignorant like the rest of them right and what he do he take off his panty you go around the cab you know like you know do you see them in the movie but but why but i just don't understand Okay, so even if that's true, how are you getting us busted with that? Because okay. he didn't have the knowledge yet. Hold on. So Allah, he waited so 40 years. How do you want to so say Allah, that we're busted so Allah, by Allah, he waited 40 years of the life of Muhammad to decide that it is time for them to stop taking off their panty around the Kaaba. Isn't he offended all this time, all this year, even before Muhammad's birth? So if this is the house of God, why, why, why Allah did not send anybody? He sends My everybody. friend, don't, you, cannot, you cannot question Allah. Allah uh, does as he will. Okay, Allah does as he will. But shouldn't he not let Muhammad take off his pant and go naked around the Kaaba too? Well, we don't have any evidence that uh, the Prophet ﷺ did that. What do you mean? You are the one who just said, told me we, he used to do as his parents. A second ago, you forgot? It says their descendants circumambulated the, the house naked. Uh -huh. But there's no narration to say that the Prophet himself did this. It doesn't matter. Okay. You, are, you, are the, you are the narration of Mr. Jihad. Sheikh Jihad called me. He said the Prophet used to do as his the community. Correct? CP, just, just speak about things that you are certain about. I did. Just speak about things you, are, okay. you have a clear I, evidence I, I, about. I have a clear Don't evidence. Don't give me anecdotal I evidence have a clear about evidence. I have a clear evidence in front of me that this is, was a nude party, Kaaba religion sex religion and those people what i see here is that the people of quraysh used to do it some of the people used to practice this. question Jihad. okay i'm, why did I'm you, with why you did, there why did why did why did they do that what is the, what kind of religion that religion required people go naked around it or around the house what is going on my there? friend there was so many pagans in so many parts of the middle east you know this okay that's what people they practiced until the prophet did come to them Either uh, Abraham or okay. Moses, but nothing, nothing or changed. Jesus. Nothing changed. Muhammad, he came still. Oh, Muhammad. Okay, st listen, listen. Huh? Aren't, aren't you Muslims still naked around the Kaaba? You don't wear anything. You put a sheet around you. You show your half of your body. You wear no underwear, and you are just trying to be like the Hindus. If we go right now and search for Hindu clothing or Hindu priest, we will see that you are wearing exactly as the Hindu priest. This is clothes. Hajj. This is Hajj. Exactly. So you are copying the Hajj. Is... You, are, you are copying the Hajj of the Hindu. And you are there. You have no religion. Muhammad is just copying other religion. The community, you know, if you look at the map, you will see India. It's just in the cross, across the sea from, uh, from, uh, from Saudi Arabia. A very, very short distance. You know, a few hours by, by, uh, by little boat, you can get from Pakistan, which is part of India all this time, you know. And you will be in Saudi Arabia. This is why those people are Indian. They are not really. There's nothing that's called Arab. Uh, so those Indian who came to this land, Arab, Al Arab, they are uh, obviously they are Indian. No, Al Arab are not Indian. So what they are? They're not Indian. So what they are? They are the Arab. They are the pe the descendants of so the how, desert. So how you explain the, the, how, how you explain, the Saudi Arabian how you Peninsula? Explain, how you explain they look the same exact like people of Pakistan and India? Who look like Pakistan and India? The, those Arab. No, 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 no. The Arab do not look like Pakistan and India. They don't. No. Okay. Well, anyone goes. Here we go. This is the. This is the. This is the prince of uh, of uh, Qatar as an example. <laughs> isn't isn't he a Pakistani boy? My friend, do not put Arabs with Pakistanis and Indians, okay? It's not the same. It is the same, you can tell. I mean, it's a, they are Pakistani, you know? They are, they are here, they look, their face, With their my skin. respect to the okay. Pakistanis, okay, with my on, respect to the Pakistanis. Okay, forget about the Pakistani and Pakistani. Now, I'm asking you, why when you go to Hajj, you cannot wear a clothing? You wear a sheet showing half of your body. If you are not copying the Hindus, you are Allah, copying no. Allahu a'lam, yani, this is... Ah, Allah knows best again, here we go. This is, you know, a cultural practice, so... So, it is not from God? This is just a community? 
this is what the prophet said we should do so we're gonna follow with the prophet. okay so the, the prophet he told that's you, all i can say the prophet he the told prophet you, said this the prophet he told you to go naked around the kaaba wearing no underwear no pants no panty for the women and the guy he we had, don't do the nude he, we don't do the nude anymore what do you mean you don't do the nude anymore this is nude what is this are you wearing anything we wear the we wear something now you you wear it's white ah, cloth. you, you wear, wear something white what you wear you wear a sheet like the hindus the, the prophet the prophet did it and he told us to do it ah, okay why the prophet he did it he told you to do because the black stone it's a it's a holy tradition my friend it's a holy tradition it's a holy tradition so the black stone is a holy tradition what make it holy only allah knows like we uh, we we cannot you know this we is cannot this is why I cannot really, I cannot debate Muslims because they get me busted always. Only, guys, look at this answer. Allah knows. Only Allah knows. That's it. He got me. I mean, what I, what I can say now? We cannot say anything. That's it. Allah only. But, Allah but why do Christians go inside of a church and kiss a cross? Who, who did, Tell okay, me. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why are you Christian? And why do the Catholics on, on, kiss on, the on, statue on, and worship on. the Virgin Mary? My friend, nobody worship Mary. That's a lie. Secondly, yes, if, the Catholics if somebody, do no, it. they don't. That's not. That's not true. That's a lie. You know. Secondly, yes, they do. Even okay. the other sects okay. of Christianity. Okay, hold on, like hold on. Can you, give me, can you give me a reference of a Catholic? They get and, the Catholics shh, busted for oh, deity. You, you, you are a liar, for, and all, 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 all those who say those things, they are just hateful people, liar like you. I'm asking you. Can you show me a reference of the Catholic? That they worship Mary. I will put it on the screen. Well, I have to search. Uh, so I will give you ten years. So that's a lie. Secondly, don't change okay. the don't yeah. change the don't change the topic. So now I want to bring Bible at some point, but go no, ahead. No problem. So now you say that the Prophet he made you do that, and he uh, he considered the black stone holy. We asked before why the black stone holy. No Muslim can answer. Why the black stone is holy? Ah, listen, I have a reference. Uh -huh. So, listen, uh -huh. when Catholics pray to Mary, they are not worshiping her. Rather, they are honoring her and asking for her intercession uh -huh. on their behalf. Uh -huh. So maybe, okay, intercession? Uh -huh. Who can intercede? You tell me. Mary is going to intercede now. Who is going to intercede? According to you, is interceding is a, uh, is a shirk? It's a form of shirk. Okay, so guys, be my witness. He just said, interceding is a shirk. But isn't it your Quran says that Muhammad will intercede and your prophet, he claimed that? No, 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 no. But this is, oh, no, see no, how no, you no, twist no, no. it? Everybody, you see how you twist Everybody heard you saying that. Let us go. Let us go and see. So intercession is a shirk. It's a pagan practice. Thank you very much. But it's the Catholic who is practicing on, it. You don't want to on. answer about don't it. Don't change. You see, I did not say anything about the Catholic. You are the one who mentioned it. And you lie. You say they worship her. It turned to be they are asking her to pray for let them. Let me show you. Let Hold me on. send you the my, reference. My friend, I asked people here. I just today, I posted in my Patreon to pray for you know, people. Your fans here, they're listen, so listen, listen, listen. I just, today, I did, just today, I asked people in to, 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 to pray for people in Greece because they have fire. That's the, I'm asking them for intercession. Yes, to ask God. No, nothing wrong with that. So she is joining us in the prayer to pray with us. She is not really Ooh. the one. Mary. Mary? Yeah. So she joined. So you accept she, jo she she joined. I'd accept or not. I'm explaining to you why they do that. So they they the, the belief is that she is joining the prayer, and she is praying with us. And as long as she is married, she is a very the, one of the most uh, uh, decent women in this earth. And God, He chose her. So her prayer will be special. That's all. But nobody worship her. Now I'm asking you. If you said that intercession is a pagan practice. And you're a prophet, he said. you guys are doing. And so you just admit no, that don't. Christians no, no, are a no, bunch no, of pagans. No, no, we don't. This is joined for a forest of a prayer. I say that we pray. Well, you, we, guys, you guys are pagan in my book. You are, no problem. You can say whatever you want. We, we don't kiss stones. We don't worship stones. We don't believe in holy stones. It is you, Muslim, who do that. And you are pagan. You are coming from the Hindu. Now, you will see that Muhammad is the one who do intercession to his, his, uh, his, uh, 
his nation in the day of judgment. And you are the one who said in the day of judgment. No problem. It's different. No, nope. doesn't matter. You said inter, you said intercession. No, he's asking you now to pray. Muhammad he asked you now to pray for those who pray for him. Now they are going to he is going to intercede. We for them. worship Allah alone. Okay, Allah oh, okay. When you pray, alone. when you when you pray, your prayer go to who? We worship Allah. That's another question. When you pray, your prayer go to who? To Muhammad or to Allah? We pray to Allah. Okay, do your prayer go to who? To Muhammad or to Allah? We pray to Allah. Okay, but your prayer goes to where? It goes to Allah. What if I show you it goes to Muhammad? What you would do? Hello? Here we go. This is your prophet claiming that the prayer of we all pray Muslims goes to him. to Allah. You, the, your prayer goes to Muhammad. Read it carefully. Read it. Why are you are lying to us, my friend? I was going to make an admin in my chat. Read it. Yeah, read it. What? The reference. Here we go. The reference it? in front of you. What is it? I don't see it. Uh -huh. yeah, okay, refresh your pages. Go on to this. Did you say, inshallah, before you call me? This why you don't see it. Okay. The messenger of Allah said the man. Oh, you have a delay, huh? Okay. Can I... you make it? Can you make it clear on the screen? Well, the man. I don't know why it's not clear for you. I think it's clear for everybody. This is what I don't. In the like. most excellent of your days, so invoke any blessing on me on that day, for your blessing will be submitted. Your blessing will be submitted to me. Hmm. The companions as messenger. How can our blessing? Hmm. So where your prayer goes, and it's not a blessing, by the way. This is false translation. It says Torah do aliyah salatakum. Salah is not a blessing. What? what? It says here, فَأَكْثِرُوا عَلَيَّ مِنَ الصَّلَاةِ فَإِنَّ الصَّلَاةَ We give blood. معروضة. I mean, we, we, we. Uh -huh. So he is saying, make your salah uh, for me, and then your, your, your salah will be brought to me. Does it say that? Your salah does not go to Allah. It goes to Muhammad. No, it doesn't say that, CP. What's it uh, says that they read it. Here we go. Go ahead, read it. Read it. Get me busted right now. Don't do it tomorrow. Uh, as long as it doesn't say that, CP. Read it and get me busted. Go ahead. I'm listening. I say it, it does say that. You say it doesn't. Yeah, prove it. Go ahead. We honor the Prophet by sending our blessing to him. First but of all, just, it doesn't say the word blessing. In we, Arabic, it says salah. We, the word salah but is not we, we do it for Ibrahim too. Hold on, hold we on. We do it for yeah, Ibrahim but, but, too. Uh, no, no, hold on, hold on. Here, the, the, the topic was, your prayer goes to who? To Allah or to Muhammad? You said to Allah. You forgot? But does this hadith go against the Quran? This do not, you this, find this? This is Quran? not my. This is not my business, my friend. The Quran is a messed up. But everything is is a, the Quran is against itself. But this is not the topic now. Your prayer is not a blessing. They lie in the translation. Your prayer on Muhammad goes to Muhammad, not to Allah. My friend, my friend, mm -hmm. we send blessings to the Prophet. You understand me? You know Arabic, and, and there's nowhere here it says the word the blessing. This is number one. Can you show me the word the blessing? If you can show me the word the blessing in Arabic, I will shave my 25 foot beard. The word blessing is baraka. Okay, thank you. Guys, the word blessing is baraka. Wonderful. Where is where is the word baraka in the hadith? There's no baraka. I see the English. Okay, I will show you the Arabic. Here we go. It says, فَأَكْثِرُ عَلَيَّ مِنَ الصَّلَاةِ فِيهِ فَإِنَّ صَلَاتَكُمْ مَعْرُوضَ عَلَيْ صلاة. But you know, if yeah, you know, your, so salat, salat your, your prayer, people salami. they just want to uh, silence you know, me. They don't want me to break the Bible. You know, okay, you know, so salah is a prayer, not a blessing, because you you are the one who said the word uh, uh, blessing is baraka. Thank you very much. So baraka is a blessing. Salah is a prayer. So where your prayer goes goes to Muhammad. So who's God? Hmm. 
I like your Arabic, my friend. Salatikum. Salatikum. Yeah, salatakum ma'ruda alay. Fa inna salatakum ma'ruda alay. Who is the one who will receive the salah of the Muslims? Muhammad. They said to him, but how we are going, how you are going to review our prayer and you are going to be dead? Look what he claimed. He claimed that we people of Prophet, uh, our body will not decay. So is Muhammad is a zombie? Muhammad is dead, but he's alive. How the prayer will be received to Muhammad and he can review it. I will uh, I will come back to you on this one. Ah, you will come back to me. Okay, we will we will go. Okay, but but but, 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 but you know I don't just but, don't but me, because, Jihad, don't but me, please. My friend, don't, my friend, don't but me, don't but you, me, please. Don't but 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 I don't like you when you do but but honestly, like maybe maybe your family like you when you do but but I understand. But for me, I don't like that. Let us go back to the topic. You mentioned because I be, that, because uh, clearly but, but, you're but, prepared. But, 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 don't but me. So now listen. Now we what we what we got from you that I Muhammad take the interpretation <clears throat> of CP. Don't take my interpretation. I'm, ta you, I'm you, taking. You I'm, ta put... I'm not take, I'm giving you my interpretation. I'm using your interpretation. It's you who said that Muhammad, before the age of forty, before you start butting around, he was a pagan. It's you who said that. It's not an interpretation. So your interpretation, Mr. Jihad, that Muhammad, before the age of forty, he was butting around. He did not know what faith. He have no revelation, and this will destroy all the lies Muhammad. And they say to us that Muhammad was Abrahamic. Because if he was Abrahamic, well, he knew, he knew the book. If he if if he have, if he was Abrahamic, he have faith. But the Quran says he have he don't even know what faith is. Your prophet is not even a communist, my friend. Okay, that's a different issue than what you are just discussing. No, okay. this is this is not, so this, no. This is the important issue. You know, the other things they come like a cement for between the between the bricks. Thank you very much. So, jihad. As long we agree, me and you, we ag as long we agree, you, me and you, that Muhammad used to worship as the community used to worship before he became a prophet, which means for 40 years. We agree, both of us, right? Yeah, the same as Abraham. Okay. Or, no, not the same as Abraham. Not the same as Abraham. According to Muslim stories, Abraham, he became a believer when he was a kid. Don't go there. My what? friend, all the prophets <laughs> had the same message. No, this so not, this, don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. So, is is uh, so Muhammad was a mushrik for forty years, and you agree with that? So, do Allah forgive shirk? He does. He does. He does. He didn't let me finish. Uh, okay. He does when no prophet came to you. When nobody came to you and you don't know, uh -huh. you don't have blame for what you don't know. Oh, okay, that's that, that makes but sense. But if actually. you okay. know, uh -huh. if you know, uh -huh. if the Prophet came to you, okay, and you still are associating partners with Allah, then, then there will be blame on you. But hmm. in this case, there is no blame. Well, this is not. See how I just got you busted. Oh, well, you got busted the Quran because the Quran said the opposite. Read carefully. Here we go. In Allah, Allah So Allah, He will not forgive those who do commit shirk. He forgive all sin. Do in less than that. Chapter four, verse number forty-eight. Chapter four, verse one sixteen. So Allah, He forgives sin anyway. To who? To believers, right? Only believers. Here, 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 here. This is what happened to Jihad when he feel the heat in some areas. Okay, Jihad, what happened? Hello? Hello, can you hear me better? I hear you, I hear you. So, in the Quran, chapter 4, verse 4. It's 40, cutting out a lot. It's all right, it's all right. You know, I will, I will, I will. You know, Allah knows best why the internet Hello? is not working, you know. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm holding. Yes, Mr. Jihad. Can you hear me? Okay. Can you hear me? Or I hear you. Hello. I hear you. I hear you. I okay. Hear you. I hear you. Allah forgiveth not that 
partner should be set up with him. Okay. But he forgiveth anything else to whom he pleaseth. All right. So. Do, do Allah forgive? With Allah. Is that something to, to be? Sin is that something to be forgiven, or will never be forgiven? But the, but, yes, this is peace. You have a peace here, but this is referring to if the prophet has come to you. Clearly, the fact that the verse was revealed means that the prophet came to them. Hmm. But before that, Allah cannot blame for what he, they don't know. Okay, but the Quran says that uh, you Muslim, you believe that Allah He sent one hundred twenty-four thousand prophet. My and friend, you just got busted. Uh, uh, let us see. Uh, okay, let us see who's getting busted. Allah He forgive not those who take partner with Him. So you're a prophet for forty years, was taking partners with Allah. Maybe he don't even worship Allah at all. Actually, the Quran says he don't worship Allah. He do not even know what faith is. So now this chapter here. In chapter 4 verse number 48 it says clearly that this is a sin will not be forgiven any other sin Allah will forgive so Muhammad he commit that sin so his sin will not be forgiven so according to the Quran Allah he will send Muhammad to the microwave okay so you are saying this I'm saying that you're so I'm not, saying this and that. I'm, not, I'm not saying this and that I'm saying the Quran what the Quran is saying the Quran is saying clear words Allah forgive not anyone he will not if that's a but you do not know you are putting your own meanings the sea what meaning mean? okay do, do, do I need to put my own meaning? I mean the verse is so clear uh -huh. even this one I'm putting my own meaning Allah forgive not that who take a partner with him that's it he will not forgive that he will never forgive it he forgive all other sin but this one no very simple you said it yourself coming to them hmm you know that what? So don't twist thing what interesting what okay explain to us go ahead you are aware that no prophet hmm. if no prophet came to them there's no blame okay did, you were mentioning okay, this the did, other any prophet, day did any prophet with, came, uh, did, with his parents okay, okay did any prophet came to mecca before muhammad no uh, I thought Ibrahim. well Ibrahim came thank you thank you guys here we go he just said Ibrahim, Ibrahim came but okay hold on in his time hold on no it doesn't matter so there is a there is a, a person who Not came to this nation time. okay uh, okay don't you Muslim you claim that Muhammad is from Ishmael they don't have Ibrahim they didn't I'm have asking you, don't you Muslim you claim that Muhammad is a from descendant from Ishmael Ismail. Yes. Don't you claim that he is descendant from Ishmael? So Abraham was there. Yes. According to you, Ishmael was there. And now you are claiming that nobody knows. Okay, hold on. So if nobody knows about, there's no prophet came before them. So the Muslim, they worship Allah. Is Allah the true God of Islam or he was a pagan God? Allah is the God of, of Adam. Okay, so here we go. So the Arab, obviously, they are, okay, hold on. So the Arab, they are worshiping, according to you, the God of Abraham. So how you say nobody came to them, and yet they are worshiping Allah, and beside him they worship pagan gods. So obviously they have received a message. From who? You will say to me, from Abraham. No, from they Ishmael. did not. Even you must claim, did not if, even you must claim that Adam is the one who came first to the Kaaba, correct? My friends, so don't be, don't, don't be a donkey. Let us see who the donkey. I'm you okay, uh, uh, Abdul, listen, Adam, Adam. But by the way, Adam is uh, from India too. You know that, right? Adam is not from India. Oh, so you are saying your prophet he lie and your Muslim books lie? Isn't it your Muslim believe that Adam, uh, Allah, he sent him down in Sri Lanka? That's you saying this. Uh, uh, me? I'm I am saying I'm, that. Okay, well, hold on, hold on, guys. I am saying. All I am telling you okay. before you jump, before before you jump. Yeah, Ibrahim was there, but the people, the the people of Nabi Muhammad time did not 
I have knowledge okay. of him. Uh, hold on, hold and on. And then I want the you... prophet informed them hold on, that hold, Allah hold, hold on, is hold on. one God. Oh, okay. It's just the Arabic word. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay. okay. That's, uh, guys, word. that's an Arabic word. That's an Arabic word. We, we, we got it. It's an Arabic word. So let us see here. This is your sheikh. Maybe you can listen to the sheikh from, uh, from YouTube so you can hear it. And then just mute it after you finish hearing the sheikh. He is explaining where Adam, he came to. Now, if we look at Adam alayhi salam, he came down onto the earth. He was sent to the earth. There's a question. Where did he land? Where he land? <laughs> he was, he wasn't just thrown so that suddenly he landed, meaning he dropped. But Allah placed him on the earth. This we find in the narration of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi salam, where he says that Adam alayhi salam nazala fil hinz. He came down in what is known as the Indo-Pak subcontinent. Precisely Sri Lanka. There is. Hold on. Did, Did you hear it? Precisely Sri Lanka. He came to India. So, so I'm when, waiting it. So when I so when I say that Islam based on Hindu Indian religion, obviously it is because your first man is an Indian man. There's a question. Wait a minute. He was, he wasn't just thrown, so that suddenly he landed, meaning he dropped. And Allah, the nation, the Okay, now, now mute you too. Mute you too. He came down yeah. in what is known as Mute you too. Indo. Mute you too. See? So you're a prophet, you're a prophet, and your religion is based in the Hindu belief. You believe that Adam, the first one who believe in God, he is an Indian, and he brought the religion of the Indian man with him to your land, and he is the father of all the, the, the Arab. He is the father of you know. So he is the first man. So all the according to you believe that you are an Indian too. So stop saying I'm an. Stop saying to yourself I'm an Arab. You are not. Either you believe what your prophet said. And here the, the scholar, he will quote for you, your prophet saying that. So either you accept what your prophet is saying, or you don't accept it. So you Muslims are weird. You know, you are you are Abdul when you want. You are not Abdul when you want. When, when we got you busted, you say Allah knows best. And the best scenario, you will hang up like last time. So obviously, all your religion is coming from the Hindu religion, the black stone, kissing. Black stone is holy in the shape of a vagina. Hindus, they have a stone, present the man private part, the women private part, they put it in the middle of the temple, they believe it's holy, they put flower around it, they believe in fertilization, fertilization. and you Muslims believe in the same. And even women, they used to go around the Kaaba naked, circulating, and then when they want to have a baby, they put their hand when they have their period in their private part and they place it inside the black stone. And this is explained why the black stone have a shape of a vagina. But the prophet put a stop to all this. Thank you, guys. Did you hear it? The prophet, he put a stop for all of this, so he agreed in everything I just said. The only thing he added, that a prophet, he uh, he stopped, but he did not. Didn't your prophet kiss the black stone? No, I... I... I said he put a stop to believing How he put a in, stop? in many no, gods. No, no, you see? Also, he still believes in the black stone, so he still copy what the Hindu believe. So still he have a vagina, so he still he practice the ritual of other countries or other belief. And now you say is that he stop other things. Like what? Because the, the, Ara the Arab at that time, they practiced it. Mm -hmm. So he practiced it too? I mean, that you just... So who's copying who? They I thought he came to fix it. He made it blind now. So now he make it as part of Islam. Uh, he make it part of his religion. He, he made it from, okay. He make it what? The black, the, the Kaaba uh -huh. is, is a cultural practice that the Prophet allowed it. So it is not from God. It is a cultural practice. Is that correct? No, the stone is from Allah. It's from Allah. So it's not cultural then. The stone is from Allah. 
Okay. And Allah so, knows best why he wants us to do it. Ah, uh, Allah knows best. Here we go, we go back to zero. Anything is embarrassment, they say Allah knows best. So your prophet never said to you why he wants you to practice a pagan practice by kissing a stone. He never said the reason. We never got the reason, so how are we going to know? Oh, well, I got the reason. How come you did not get it? But Should I show you the reason? It forgive. It can for it can forgive sin. Exactly. So the black stone. Thank you, worship. thank you, guys. Did you hear? Kissing the black stone. It is an act of worship. Muslims are worshiping stones, and this is an act of worship. And we just heard our friend here, Jihad. No, it's an act of worship. Allah. Okay, so you worship Allah by kissing a stone. So Allah must be a stone then. Because if Allah is not the stone, what does the stone have to do with Allah anyway? My friend, I'm not going to go with you because you are twisting things. Okay, that's what you my do. Friend, it is you who said You it. have an agenda. Okay, I have an you agenda. Wanna, for, you hate, you for, have an agenda. Listen, Abdul, I have an agenda for sure. Otherwise, everybody have an agenda. I only a fool don't have an agenda. I, my agenda has come here. Show everybody that Islam is a stupid religion. And I prove it in an honest, honest way. And you are my helper. So now you are the one who said, kissing the black stone is an act of worship. The black stone, when you kiss it, it forgive your sin. So you Muslim believe that if you black, if you kiss the black stone, you are worshiping Allah, correct? You are showing piety to Allah. Okay, so you are showing what? I lost your voice. Showing what? You are showing piety. Pa panity? Panty? What? Piety. Piety. Also, I don't know what the word piety means. But... And you are you are showing. Showing what? Well, you should go to English school. Well, okay, tell me what that word means. I don't know. Who told you that? Um, my, uh, somebody told you I'm, I'm Shakespeare. I'm the not. voice is cutting. No problem, because Allah is getting upset now. He's, you know, he's going to cut our line. Allah knows best why it's not working now. So now, my friend, so you kiss the black stone to show Allah what? Why you kiss the black? Is being... It's an act of worship. This is what we learn from you. It forgive your sin. That's what we learn from you. And now, when piety you... is being devout to Allah. Okay, so you cannot be devout to Allah. So the black stone is Allah. Then, okay, did your prophet say that the black stone is the right hand of Allah? No, it's not. Is the black stone is the right hand of Allah? Allah is 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 above the arsh. This is not the question. Not the black stone. This is not the question. You cannot this, say that. Uh, 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 Abdul, this is not the question. Did your prophet say that the black stone is the right hand of Allah? Show the reference. Uh -huh. Each time I want to show you, say the reference. I show the reference. Okay, let me show you the reference. Here we go. Give me a second. All right, uh, show the reference. Look at this. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay. Look at how disrespectful your fans are. I know, come on. Okay, I know, come on. Come on, Zakarnay, come on, listen. Okay. They have no respect. Uh, okay, I have no respect for sure. I don't respect and people. And you, I you have, always I interrupt. Have no respect you want to just silence me. Hold on, hold on. People call us pigs, monkeys, you know, filthy, nudges. Nasara, you call us all kinds of names and you talk about respect, shame on you. Read carefully. This is your Islamic website and this is the reference. It says here that you're a prophet, he says. Did that I the, say that? Huh? What? Hello? hello? I heard the Messenger of Allah say, touching them, erase his sin. Yes, hello. Okay, you, you, I think you have a delay. I have a bad concoction. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, this is what happened when you use the internet of the neighbors, you know? I mean, come on, man. Hmm.
Call me back. Don't go. Here you notice, by the way, how the answers change depend on the Muslim you talk to. The one before he try his best to be dishonest. The one after he is less dishonest. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم الحجر الأسود يمين الله في الأرض. Okay, jihad. Is, I, is the voice coming good? Now it's fine. Now I'm showing you the reference in the front of your eyes. I don't know if you can see it. You see it? It says. <laughs> oh, عبد الرحمن. Okay, it says الحجر الأسود يمين الله في الأرض يصافح بها عباده. Yad, yad al yameen. Hmm. Where it says the yad al yameen? No, it says al hajar al aswad yameen Allah, yameen Allah, the right hand of yes. Allah. Hmm. Yameen Allah. Yeah. Yusafihu biha ibadahu. But it doesn't mean literal. Okay, and... I will take it not literal, no problem. So why you kiss the black stone? <laughs> My friend, when we kiss the black stone, uh -huh. it is an act of worship exactly. to Allah. So you kiss the hand of Allah. Not the literal hand. What? So are you saying that the black stone is a virtual hand of Allah? But it's not virtual, it's physical. No, my friend, a man will say, my son is my right hand man. Or my partner in business. No, no, but you are kissing. Right but you are man. kissing. You are kissing yeah, a physical. Just, no, no, this is different, my friend. And you are kissing a physical object, and that physical object is called the hand, the right hand of Allah. So you, when you kiss it, you are kissing the hand of Allah. So, okay, is the sun a person? What? My no. friend, it's it's not literal. But, but it's okay. not literal. Is the black stone is the black stone a real stone or it's not literal stone? No, it's it's a stone. It's okay. a stone. Thank you. So the stone is a stone and you are kissing what? You are kissing a stone. But it's uh, uh, yeah, we're kissing. Jihad, jihad, jihad. I it's make an it. act of worship. Okay, you keep saying that, my friend. I agree with you. This is an act of worship. Thank you very much. So you must then worship God by kissing stones. No, we worship God th through salah. No, you just salah. said. You just said. Come on, you just said that kissing the stone is an act of worship. But this is something we are required to do only one time in our life, no, at that, minimum. That's, that's not true. That's not true. <clears throat> or oh, minimum, guys. Minimum. Oh, okay. No, anytime you go around minimum. the house, I I because now you don't have access to the Kaaba, not everybody can go. Which additional proof that Islam is false? Because if Allah order all the Muslim to go and do Hajj, and then the Kaaba cannot take all the city of Mecca cannot take more than a hundred thousand or seventy thousand, you know, in, in in one week, and then the total will be like maybe two millions after after uh, the whole uh, uh, extending the period to make the Hajj. That means that Islam is not valid because how all those Muslims can go to Kaaba? Nobody can go. If you live 60 years of your life, dreaming to go to do Hajj, waiting for your turn, based on the number of the population of the Muslims, you will never be able to do so unless you are very lucky to give you a visa because there's limited people can get into the city for it cannot handle the number. So this is an a false religion, even by this, by this reasoning. But now let's go. You kiss the black stone as an act of worship. And the black stone, according to you, is sent by Allah, correct? Yes. Okay. But do you even have a black stone? Do we have a, bo a, bo a bo what? Do you even have a black stone? The Kaaba. It's, it's... No, no, the black stone. We're talking about the black stone. Don't you know that there's no black stone left? There's no black stone. So you're kissing what? You're kissing wax. This is the picture of your black stone, very clear picture, close by. Wait, no, look with me, uh, uh, Jihad. I'm here to help you. I'm not your enemy, my friend. Let me see if I can make it better. Hold put it on. on the screen. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, I will put it on the screen. So why you don't want to answer about the Bible? We, we, you do not ask me about the Bible to answer. And we are talking about your Quran now. Don't change topic. So Yeah, but you said okay, you will uh, give me a... 
uh, no chance problem. to talk about you, Bible. You, you asked me about Mary, I answered you. You forgot. I did not say I will not answer no, you. No, but I, because okay, because listen, I saw listen, you listen, run guys, away with another Muslim. No, I never about ran away. I'm the, last, I'm the last one who ran away. All of them they are potato like you. Listen carefully. This is you the black stone. This is the black yeah, stone. Yeah, yeah, Where is the black yeah, stone? Yeah. Where is the black stone? There's no black stone. This is wax. There's little tiny rocks. Well, the black stone in the time of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Uh huh. Was, it's, it's not. Uh, it's. It's. It's so. It, it's what? It's not. It's. You know. We have the Kaaba, so the stone. It's, Don't uh, go to the Kaaba now. I'm talking about the black stone. Where is the black stone? Is if Allah he order you that this black stone and he told you this black stone is going to witness for you in the day of judgment. That's mean Allah will preserve the stone. But there's no black stone left. There's little rocks. The rest is wax. All this brown thing, red thing. This is this is wax. The little rocks here are the black stone left. Here we go. This is the black stone. This That's is... what it was. Okay, hold on. That's what it was. So, the, okay, so how Allah he said that this is black stone is going to witness for you in the judgment day, and nothing left of it. What kind of God he need wax to maintenance to be done every few days in the Kaaba to maintain his stone? He could not maintain it. Couldn't Allah he send the strongest stone, which a stone will stay forever without even it's a stone, even I mean what kind of a stone they chose? Look at this. There's no stone left. You have little tiny rocks, and they are the same the same size as you, the one your prophet used to by to the wipe, miracle of Allah on, on the day of judgment. What miracle? It's Look, it's it's gone. There's no stones. Look, yes. this is this is one, this is two, this is the second one next to it, and this is one, and this is one. And this is one, and this is one. That's it. Nothing left. Because a lot of time has passed. My friend, how this? You you said you are kissing the black stone. What? Where is the black stone? It's 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 at, it's in the Kaaba. Okay. Can't Allah preserve His stone and will not be affected by time? What kind of He's God? gonna preserve so, it on the day of judgment. Uh, who who needs it in the day of judgment now? It's uh, hold on. It's it's not a stone anymore. Look, there's little rocks. Okay, so what 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 is what is the significance of this point here? What are you trying to prove? Uh, this so this is, is the exactly what I'm trying to prove that Muhammad is an idiot because if he, he said to you that this don't is don't say that. Okay, I, I say that. What you can do about it? Come and kill me. I'm not a, a person did, who's afraid. Did you see me cursing Jesus? You curse Jesus. We love Jesus. You say Jesus. You, you, you're a prophet. Nobody loves you're Jesus a prophet. as much you're as Muslim the Muslim. Don't love Jesus. You hate Jesus. You curse him every day, and I can prove it to you. You're a prophet. He said that Allah, when, when Khadija was dying, he said to her, "Say hello to my wife, my greetings, my 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 wives." She said to him, "Did you marry women before me?" He says, "No, but Allah, He promised me the mother of Jesus." Your, your, your prophet, your filthy prophet, he said that he is going to have sex with the mother of Jesus. Is that cursing to Jesus? Is that hateful to Jesus? Or this is respect That's to Jesus? That's a lie. That's a lie. Okay, what That's if, a lie. What if I show you right now and I will make you? You are spreading, you are spreading propaganda. Okay. I don't I, know I, if I, you are jihad, getting paid by jihad, Israel. Jihad. Oh, here we go. Paid by Israel. <laughs> okay, Jihad, listen. What if I show you the reference? You know, I, 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 I am Palestinian. And I know Abdul, you are not a Palestinian. I am Palestinian. You are not. You are not. Huh? Said, aren't you Muslims believe that Omar Khattab he entered this land? Are you an Arab or Palestinian? My friend, my uh, grandfather was removed from Arab? his home in 1948. <clears throat> my friend, are you huh? an Arab or Palestinian? But uh, Palestinians are Arab. What are you talking about? Okay. Well, see, I thought I, I thought the first time Amr Khattabi entered, it was after the death of Muhammad. Okay, so what was, you have? Okay, now so listen, listen, don't change, don't change topic. Don't, 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 don't change the topic. If I show you, if I show you the reference and the hadith that Muhammad, hold on, hold on. If I show you right now the reference that your prophet he been promised by Allah to have sex with Mary, you said to me, I'm making things up. This is hateful. Correct? Here we go. This is the hadith. Let me read it for you. Actually, I can show it to you even from Ibn Kathir. All right? So, let me give you the reference. And everybody will see in, in two seconds. 
uh, if this is true no or not. No such thing as Palestine. Look, look. Go ahead. Yeah, there's nothing is called Palestine. Why are you are saying that? Why are you are saying you know there's no Palestine? Even your God, Allah never mentioned Palestine. We will go there. You see, they are not making things up. This is your this is your religion. Even your God, He mentioned. So are you? Do you do you not this support is, the Palestinians? Hold on, hold on. Don't you topic. This is a make a theory. Page number four seventy four. You see it? Read it. Huh? Ya Khadija. Ya Khadija. I don't see it, CP. You will see it soon. You'll come to you. Here we go. I put in the screen already. Ama Alinti and Allah had Zawajani Maaki fi Jenna Mariam bin to Amron. Ibn Kathir, value number two, page number 74. I will click a translation, Google translation, so everybody can see. This is Ibn Kathir, and there is a Majma of Zawa. There's many, many, uh, you know, books. Don't you know that Allah, He married me to Maryam? The daughter of Amran, even the sister of Musa, Muhammad, you know, uh, the sister of Musa, <laughs> Muhammad, he think Mary, the mother of Jesus, is the sister of Musa. The Jannah, Maryam, bint Amran. So, did I, did I oh, look at this! Uh -huh. Look at this! Uh -huh. He goes to the Shia library. My friend, this he is goes to the book is, of the Shia. Abdul, this is a Mika The Shia, the Shia are a bunch of are a bunch of liars. Ah, and the Shia, okay, the Ibn Shia Kathir, are a bunch of liars. Ibn, Ibn, and Ibn Kathir, if you read, if you read the is book it, it of you? Shia, it's is like it you're you? reading oh, Al-Layla listen, 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 Layla. Listen, 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 Layla, Layla. Like a bunch of cartoon hey, movies okay, of Shia. Okay, guys, the book of Shia cartoon movie, not Muhammad. Muhammad is, is a cartoon too, but listen. Is it you who mentioned to me last time that you accepted Ibn Kathir? This is Ibn Kathir. This is a Shia library website, which means all Islamic But is it books. Ibn Kathir Shia version? There's no Shia version. Here we go. This is page. This is part number two, very number two, page number seventy-four. What Shia version? This is your book. No, 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 no. This is the Sunni book. Come to the Shia, this is, my this friend. This is Sunni book. This is Sunni book. This is not Shia. <laughs> So this is, is Shia it, version of Ibn. No, here we go. Okay, open. Oh, okay, open Ibn Kathir, guys. This is Shia version. Open Ibn Kathir, chapter uh, volume number two, page number seventy-four, and read for us. Now, for sure, they will say to you, "This is weak and this is garbage, etc." But your prophet, you said have... that. But listen, listen. Okay, you say, Okay, hold on. You said, you said, you said the Shia. They, they are, they are. What their books are cartoon? Why? It's like you're reading Alf Layla or Layla. Like, why? Why? It's like 100, 1000 night and night, he's saying. Like, why? I'll give you an example. You know, it's like a story. Give me an example. You know, they, they, they have so much, so many weird stuff they believe. Like what? Uh, you know, they, you know, they believe in 12 Imams. You don't believe in 12 Imams? You believe in the same? No, they they, they believe in, in, you know, you have to wear certain shoes and they, you know, it's it's funny stuff what they believe. Okay, well, isn't it your, okay, let me ask you, there's a hadith of the Shia, speak about if you enter the bathroom, and with your uh, with your with your right for shaitan, he will play with your bows. Is that true hadith or fake? Shia, I believe it. If you go in the bathroom without saying a prayer, shaitan, he will go inside your anus. Now you're it. trying to play. You're trying to to, to to play a trap on me. Now I know that. Ah, I know so that. so so you agree now? This is a cartoon story. Well, if you say the Shia, they have cartoon stories. Well, then you have to agree that here we go. I just showed you that Adam he landed in Sri Lanka. Is that a cartoon or not? I just showed you the Sunni Sheikh saying that Adam he landed in Sri Lanka. Okay, if Adam he landed in Sri Lanka, yeah, the Sheikh, the Sheikh. Who no, is this is this is your prophet. No, this is your prophet saying that he's quoting your prophet. <laughs> it's true. He, he's quoting your prophet. 
He's not making things up. You know, he's saying this is, a, you know, I, I, I can play it for you again. So this is, this is from the Hadith. This is from the Hadith of the Sunni. So you Muslims, you have more stories and you have same stories as the Shia. So now, if I ask you, do you agree really that Adam, he came down to Sri Lanka or you don't? Well, it's possible that he did, but I wasn't aware of this. Uh -huh. So a second ago, you were talking about Shia funny stories, and now it's possible? What is possible about it? Let us go and look at the, the, the map of Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is an island. Uh, but, but I, I didn't know. I wasn't aware of that. No problem. I wasn't no, aware. Okay, no problem. Now you are aware. So now Sri Lanka is in, uh, in, the, ma in, the, in the map as we see it. It's an island. It's not connected to the, to the land. Okay, now Adam, he landed there. Allah, he sent him down to Sri Lanka. That's wonderful. How Adam was able to go all the way to Mecca? When, you know, Sri Lanka is an island. This is the first man. Don't tell me he took a boat. He don't have tools yet. But Adam, you know what he had? That he had direct. What direct? Adam. Reason? Okay, Allah, he sent him down to Sri Lanka. Okay, we got that. Now, Muhammad. He, no, he didn't say Sri Lanka. He said India. No, he said Sri Lanka. I can play it again. He said Indo Peninsula or something. No, he said like India. This. He said India. He said India and he okay. says and he says Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka okay, is so, part, my friend. Sri so Lanka, you have to go a little bit west. Okay, hold on. So on Sri Lanka, okay, Sri Lanka is an island. So now okay. Adam, he have to go all the way through India. Keep going. Keep okay, going. this is stupid. This is stupid. He didn't go to Sri Lanka. He's talking about maybe you know India close to. Afghanistan or something like okay, that. Okay. Okay. Oh, you know what? The, the the problem is that you cannot hear. I, I'm trying to find a way to make you hear my audio. Hold on. Let me see if I can adjust that, so you can hear the video with me, without switching. Uh, let us see if I can add an audio source, because the only way to make you have that now is, let us see how we add one. Maybe we cannot add one now. Okay. Add mix but you know what let us uh, 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 let, I, I, I will leave the audio available to my microphone even that will make your voice less less clear so everybody can hear mute youtube please be sure your youtube is muted so let us go and see what all right Here we go, we will play the video so you can hear it with us. But suddenly he landed, meaning he dropped, but Allah placed him on the earth. This we find in the narration of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa where he says that Adam alayhi salam nazala fil hind. He came mm -hmm. down in what is known as the indo pax subcontinent, precisely Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. There is a mount there known as Adam's Peak. If you go there, you will find it green and beautiful as though it is not from this earth, but it is. I'm not trying to imply anything, but I'm just saying it is so beautiful, maybe because the Sri Lankans have kept it that way. But it's a beautiful place. It is, it is said that there is a possibility that that is the place. We don't know for certain that that spot is the place, but roughly there. What about Hawa? Where did she come down? In Jidda. <laughs> Where is Jidda? Jidda is in the Arabian Peninsula, in what we know today as Saudi Arabia. And what is the meaning of Jidda or Jadda or Judda? It means the grandmother. It is. Here we go. So, your, your prophet Adam, he landed. Do you hear me? Yeah. Okay, so your prophet Adam, he landed where? In India. Where specific, specifically is in Sri Lanka? And he is saying there's a spot there, but he is not sure if that is spot really true is the one. But for sure it is Sri Lanka. So now we, we confirm that. And not only that, even if she landed in Jeddah, 
So look what happened. Mute you too, please. I hear my voice twice. So look what happened. Are you there? Oh, YouTube is mute. Okay. So look what happened now. You you mentioned the cartoon stories in the Shia books. Be honest with me, Jihad. If there is more cartoon story than this, that now we have a wife and husband. The wife she landed in Saudi Arabia, and the husband he landed in Sri Lanka. But this how is, they how they are sure it's Sri Lanka? This is the city. This is the, the city. This is the city. This is the city of Jeddah, and this is the city. This is Sri Lanka. Who said that, your prophet? And you are the one who laugh at the Shia books. But saying, how do they know about Sri Lanka? They don't say Sri Lanka back then. They say, you know, Hind or something. Okay, your prophet, he mentioned it. I mean, obviously, this guy is a sheikh. He's not going to say things. You say, okay, you Muslims, when Christian prince, he say, he say, a Christian prince is not telling the truth. Even your sheikh now is a liar. I mean, what's wrong with you? So, he is quoting But can prophet. you bring the hadith itself? Can you bring the hadith itself? You want me to show you the hadith itself? Yeah, okay. I do. Okay. But, but, but nothing is impossible for Allah. He can take Adam and put him in Jeddah. But he did not. He put Adam. Uh, uh, he put Adam in <laughs> in Sri Lanka, and uh, Eve uh, <laughs> in Jeddah. But they have to be together. Okay. So how they how they met? Allah brought them together. Ah, Allah, He brought them together. The, okay, listen, 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 listen. Let, let me ask you: Is Adam? Bring the hadith. Okay, I will show you the hadith. I will show you the hadith. I, I'm going. You to, don't have. I, I have it. I have everything. I have everything. You are talking to Christian Prince, my friend. You are talking to Christian Prince. Don't, don't play games. Don't even go there. You know you are talking to me, right? Don't play games. Okay, you, 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 you are going to get what you are asking for. You know, I have a surprise for you, you know. But because you because you are the one who did lead us to go there, then we have to go there. Okay. Is it true that you Muslim believe that Adam is Buddha? Adam is what? Is Buddha. No, 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 no. Okay. Let us see if uh, Adam is Buddha or not. Okay. My friend, don't play games. Don't, don't, don't be funny for the audience. Okay, I know you uh, have to. Okay, okay, we will to see. To make a okay, show. Hold on. Okay. I know you have to make a show. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Read with me, and not everybody. Okay. Read, read with me, read with me. The one who collect donation is your prophet. Every time, every two minutes he talk, he asks for donation. Did you hear me asking about donation? I, I go here every day, and you know, I don't say, hey people, if you don't make donation, I will not uh, go live. And I was doing most of my life for free without even asking for a penny. So don't talk about donation. It's your, your, your prophet who claimed that you have to make a donation to Allah in order to be forgiven. I don't promise people forgiveness if they donate to me. That is a scam. That's what your prophet you do. Now read with me carefully. فَقَالَ إِبْنَ عَبَّاسَ فَلَمَّا أُغْبِضَ آدَمَ عَلَى جَبَلِ نُودِ كَانَتْ رِجْلَوهُ تَمُسَّانِ الْأَرْضِ وَرَأْسَهُ بِالسَّمَاءِ I'm putting it. Here we go. <laughs> And here there's other hadith. Oh, Peter Adam, a couple of Ruby Shams in a Lyom Lady Holocaufi, or Hoyom Juma, Maa Zaujeta Huawa, Mina Sama, Fakala Ali, or Ibn Abbas, or Kotada, or Abu Ali, Baba Baba, Baba, in a who orbit of the Hind, Ala Jebelin, you call Rahu, Nood, Min or the Sarandib, Wahawa, um Bijeda, or Kala Ibn Abbas, Faja Fitalavia. So let us translate that Allah is sent down Adam. In, a, in an area, it's called Nud. In different uh, hadith, it says Nud. This is where I think Buddha is coming from. Jabal Nud. Uh -huh, Nud. In some, in some story, it says Nud, not Nud. So Nud. So uh, uh, 
most likely the Muslims they got the wrong name as usual like uh, Jesus became Isa Yeshua became Isa Mary is the sister of uh, Maryam the sister of Aaron uh, uh, you know uh, all the names are wrong so mostly this is an a, a, a mountain where Buddha was worshipped and Muhammad he claimed that from that mountain that Buddha which is Adam is the one who came all the way to Mecca and where his wife she was landing she was landing in Jeddah and we heard the Sheikh speaking about it so here we need to ask ourselves if your God is sending Adam down with his wife why your God he separate them and he put one in Sri Lanka and one in Jeddah and Jeddah is a dead city I mean this is not even it was not exist so how a woman her name is Eve she will survive in the desert alone and why a man his name is Adam which obviously Buddha he was sent down to Sri Lanka and how Adam he was able to meet his spouse all the way in Jeddah what do you think Jihad you know I'm showing you reference I'm showing you what your scholar says what your sheikh says. what book is that uh, this is uh, 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 Ibn al-Athir, the one I'm showing you. I can show you from al I can show I can show you from from al -Qurtubi. I can show you from yeah. where you want. Where you where you want? What what you want? What do you want? All the books I can show you. You are reading things in a wrong way. That's the problem here. Ah, uh, really? You think so, my friend? You are understanding things in a wrong way. Uh, okay, explain to me. We just heard the Sheikh saying that Adam he went sent down to Sri Lanka, and uh, you know, and uh, Eve she was sent down to Eve. So is the Sheikh too? He get it wrong. But Allah must have brought them together. Uh, okay, but uh, Allah uh, did bring them. Together. No problem. Do you agree with this or you don't? Yeah, I agree with whatever whatever it says, but it, but but why is that a big deal if if Allah can do anything? Well, isn't it a big deal for you? You you say the Shia they have funny stories, stupid stories. Now this story is okay. So when the Shia they believe if you wear a black shoe, your penis will not work. You laugh at it, and now you see this story you don't laugh. How come? Are you being a hypocrite? Well, I, I don't find anything wrong with the okay. story. How, uh, okay, how Adam he found uh, uh, how Adam he found Aisha? Aisha? Sorry, with the with the uh, Eve. Sorry, what? With Eve, his wife. This is the book of Al Qurtubi, and I'm showing you images now. Let me show you. This is a Jamia li Ahkam al Quran Al Qurtubi. Hmm? And this is the quotation from Al Qurtubi. It says, Oh, be the Adam as Randiba fil Hind, be Jabberin, you call Rahu Booth. You see the name of the, the, the mountain Booth, Booth from Buddha, the mountain of Buddha. Where Adam came? In the mountain of Buddha. Your Adam, according to Islam, is Buddha. And not only that, they explain why Adam became bold, because he was so tall, and uh, and the cloud, the cloud brother, he was touching his head, and that make him bold, brother. Yeah, do you see it? The sky was touching his his uh, uh, his uh, head because he was so tall, brother. And that made him, brother, bold. Do you agree with that or you don't? Bold? Bold, bold. The reason he became bold was because of that. Because he was so tall and the cloud was touching his head. So he lost his hair. He became bold. bold. What is this book? This is a jami' or ahkam al-Qur'an al-Qurtubi, Imam al-Qurtubi, my friend. Show respect, please. Stop saying what this book, you're screaming at al-Qurtubi, shame on you. My friend, we... My friend, listen. Hmm. 
I'm listening. Allah is capable of all things. Okay, so you agree now that Adam, he became bold because the cloud he was so tall and the cloud touched his head. And you agree now that he went down in a mountain called the mountain of Buddha or Buddha. Correct? Yeah, I believe whatever Allah says. Okay, wonderful. So how come you made fun of the books of the Shia when your books is coming with this? Okay, now, so now Adam, he became bold. Guys, Adam was bold, okay? And why he lost his hair? Because simply he was so tall, brother, so tall, alhamdulillah. And the cloud was like, keep touching his head, touching his head, to the point he lost his hair. Unbelievable. I mean, you have to be careful about yourself, my friend. I mean, if I am, if I am, wear a hat, my friend. Uh, somebody tell, tell Adam to wear a hat. So look at this. And let us translate, use Google translation so people will not say. All the books we are showing you here is authentic. Like this is Sahih Ibn Khuzayma. Sahih Ibn Khuzayma. All right. And this is an Islamic website we are showing. Here it says. Al-Qurtubi says in his famous tafsir, Al-Qurtubi, Adam, he was sent to the area that's called Serendib, which is Sri Lanka. Descended to India, to mountain called Buddha. Do you see it? Buddha. Buddha. This is the translation, Buddha. Buddha is a Buddha. Your says religion, Buddha. Your religion is a Buddha religion. So, Adam is Buddha, who came all the way to Mecca, And he was sent and he was sent down from Allah. Why Allah he sent him to a mountain called Buddha? This is what? This is how we do it. What what? I will I will I will ask a sheikh about this. Hey, hey, come on, you wanna ask a sheikh about this? Uh, what what do you mean you will ask a sheikh? Well, how come you cannot debate any sheikh? How come, Are you scared? How, Oh, 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 the, the question is, where is your sheikh? Here we go, I'm here. Why you don't call your sheikh right now? He says, hey guys. Why you don't the, challenge the uh, sheikh? His I name is uh, I will Muhammad Arifi. I will challenge all of them. All of them are potato. Here we go, in front of you. Be my no, witness. No, he has to know Arabic. Uh, doesn't matter. Arabic, English, okay. So uh, even better, I challenge all the sheikhs are exist in the world. I accuse them to be a bunch of shaky. They don't dare to debate me. And I challenge you, Mr. Uh, uh, Jihad, to do Jihad and call them and say, hey guys we have this guy he accepted to challenge you who is going to talk to him and you do this you call them you put them live on air with me and you are i will make you the moderator for the debate what do you think you are the one who moderate even time you know we will give them like we will do it like equal time but not for long i mean like uh, because the problem is you mute people you uh, cut them you, off you will be the you will be the, moder them. you will be the moderator you will be the moderator when you say to me it's time your time is up my time is up when you say to him, your time is up, his time is up. And people will be the judge, if you are very Okay, Al-Qurtubi says in his famous uh, tafsir, okay. Adam Sarandi descended in India to a mountain called the Buddha. Hmm. And with him was the wind of paradise, uh -huh. baldness. Uh -huh. Okay. And then he became bold because the sky was touching him. The wind of paradise came and he was so tall. And then he... My made... friend, we cannot... We cannot question Allah we I know question Allah. Yeah, we cannot question so okay yeah because you have to understand CP th th this life is a test uh, what does have to do with okay? my question now what does have to and do with, what does have to do with my question I'm gonna explain uh. you Allah is not gonna is not gonna give you everything which which makes clear sense to you because he needs to to, to know that you have faith hmm. and when you have faith and you worship him hmm. then you have a chance to to, to go to jannah hmm. but it's not guaranteed hmm. that's number one hmm. and number two what i see in the christians is they don't care about the akhirah they love the world why they uh, love the world how come we are we are allowed to have only one wife it is you Muslims who go after your penis, keep divorcing, marrying, divorcing, marrying, divorcing, marrying, and you do muta, and you do misyar, and you do zawaj a friend, and you are the one who love the world. You are the one who like to own slaves. You are the one who like to abuse women who they are poor. And even the Quran says, 
if you know if you have an orphan have sex with her and what kind of religion says have orphan with this have sex with the orphan so it is you who no it says it you is, have to deal is, kindly it with is, the orphan. no it says you have sex with them you want to show you the no, verse? chapter no 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 i know it says you have to in, deal justly uh, uh, with the no orphan. justly in what in bed right justly <laughs> and not consume their property uh, okay but you have sex with them is that how you have how they have a property and you will take uh, and you will you are helping them so they are they do not need your help leave them alone so what do you do you have sex with them but it doesn't say that Abdul, Abdul, listen 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 hold on now let us focus here so the black stone obviously is a pagan stone you must then believe that Allah he sent Adam a Buddha to the mountain it's called the mountain of Buddha why it's called mountain of Buddha you see Allah he sent Adam to the mountain is called the mountain of Buddha why is called the mountain of Buddha because obviously Buddha was there right or named Allah named it the mountain of Buddha because there's no people yet there's no people yet there's no human being but so why Allah he called that mountain but this goes again but but but, but, but here we go here hmm. we go hmm. This is not the story we get in the Quran about Adam. Hmm. Who cares? This is not the story Who we cares? get are in you, the Quran are you about saying, Adam. Are you, are you saying that your, your prophet and your Muslim, you create stories that don't make sense? Are you saying you, you Muslim, you lie about Islam? Isn't this your Islamic books? This is, is, isn't this is your book? Is it is that like a book? But of the Indian what I'm or? telling you is that this story S stop telling me. is not consistent. Where, where, how is it consistent? Hold on, hold on. So the Sheikh, he was speaking in TV. How come nobody stand for him says this is not consistent you know idiot how come none of you flag his video you idiot how come you don't say to him this guy is a kafir teaching lies you idiot you make videos about me saying christian prince is lying and i am showing your reference but when you shake he said show the same reference you don't go flag his videos and you don't cry and you don't say he's lying 107 lie 110 lie 105 lie so is that a lie you just said yes but none of you open his mouth because you are hypocrite for now it is laughable we expose it how stupid it is you try to deny it but this guy shake video is there for a century and most them give it like and most them love it and nobody complain about it and all the videos are the same but now because Listen, the muslims do the muslims do have debates about certain issues no you don't okay? debate muslims you kill each other you don't debate i never heard a muslim debate in a muslim since when when, when, when the Mu'tazila, when those people, they say certain things about the Quran, you kill them. What debate? So, don't tell me we debate, and now I'm showing you. Do you agree that, okay, how, how tall was Adam? Do you know? According to what? According to Islam, how tall he was. Because here it says he was so tall in this book, to the point his head was touching the cloud, and this, this is why he became bold. I don't know. I, I'm going to take the Quran, what the Quran says. You, so you don't take what your prophet said? Remember, you are the one who said the Shia books is a cartoon. Well, we don't have... It's not guaranteed that he said it. Not guaranteed? Huh? So if it's not guaranteed, why you call it Sahih? Go, go, oh, listen, go, go to the story of Adam in, in the Quran. It's in Surah Al-Baqarah. Okay. Go to you see, it. I have a Muslim, he made a comment as long as we go back here. This Muslim here, he said in that comment, and I will show you in the, in the, in the screen. His name is Mustafa. He said that, does God regret having made the human? He is, he's speaking about in the Bible, it says that God, he regret uh, creating, uh, Adam, he you know, he regret him. The Bible says God is feels sorry for Adam for what he did to himself. He created him to be in heaven, and look what he did to himself. Now he continues saying, because a human eating a forbidden fruit and then punished punished him, then uh, uh, then Adam and Eve, then God sent himself to be his son. What do you think about this? Do you agree with it? He's making fun of Christianity. As long as you like to talk about the Bible. He says, it doesn't make sense that God, he punished Adam and Eve because they ate of fruits. And then God, he sent himself to be his son. Do you agree with this logic? Look, I'm going to tell you regarding the story, I, I take the Quran. 
Hmm. Number two, okay, about okay, what okay, this okay, Mustafa so, is saying. So, okay, so what is the story? You take the Quran. Regarding Buddha or Mabuda or this and that, okay. uh, I, I, I have to check into it. I'm not saying yes, All I'm right. not saying no, but I didn't see that this uh, story about Buddha is in the Quran. Hmm. So that's why I have to think about it, uh -huh. okay, and, okay. And, and, and research about it. All right. So no problem. That's what I'm telling you. Hmm. But um, r yeah, so let me ask you a question. Okay, go ahead. Why, if God has a son, uh -huh. why he doesn't have ten sons and a daughter uh -huh. and a grandmother and a grandfather uh -huh. if God has son? Okay. And the next question is... Okay, no, one by one, one by one. When we say that God has a son, does that mean he has a family? Is that what you understand? <clears throat> yeah, there was a sheikh who, who, who busted a Christian. Okay. And he said, you know, how can God have a son? Why he doesn't have ten sons? All right. Well... How come your God have three daughters? He does. That's average. But let me tell you something. No, 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 no! Don't change topic. We should overgive. If if God wants to but, forgive your sin, huh? okay. No, no, don't change topic now. But forgiving sin. Let us talk about sons. God have son. Didn't have son. Okay. Let me ask you, why Allah cannot have a son? Can he have son or he cannot? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is the most high. How high he is? So what does that mean? The most high. You keep saying most high. There's nothing high, nothing down. I mean, the earth is round. And now we are high. And after a few hours, we will be down. What high? So you say Allah is up. Where is Allah now? Is Allah, is Allah above you or underneath of you? He is above. Uh -huh. Listen to me. After 12 hours, I will ask you the same question. Listen say, to I me. Say to you, the, 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 verse above, above. the verse above no. this no, no, daughter listen, is listen. abrogated. <laughs> listen, listen. Okay. Abrogated. What is abrogated? What is abrogated? You're talking about the the, the, the daughters or oh, this is the same. This is this is uh, it's been abrogated. Okay, let me ask you. Do Allah have a real daughters or they are not true? I want to ask you a question. I'll put this to the side. Put I'm, this to the side. We'll come you, back to this, it in a moment. This is, this is the question. No, I'm no, asking. no, no, no. You, you need to. Let, I, I, I didn't say anything about the Bible or about we're, Christianity. We're talking, so put it to the, the side. Says, you, 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 you asked me a question. We are going to go to talk about it about God having sons. You are the one who mentioned. It. You forgot. We opened the topic already. So I'm asking you, when the Quran speak that Arab, they believe that Allah have a, have a three daughters. Do Allah have three daughters for real, or this is lie? This is abrogated. This is not a question. What abrogated? I'm saying, do Allah for real have children, and they are daughters, or he don't? Okay, I have to go, my friend. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Here you see the hypocrisy of this religion. When they want, they have logic. When they want, they don't have logic. So for the idiot to make the point here, he's saying God, he sent his, himself. First of all, we Christians believe that Jesus is a person the Father is a person, Holy Spirit is a person, one God, three person, one God. If you say how that can be, well, can you explain to me how God can be God anyway? Look like you want to tell God how he can be, hypocrite. We just heard Jihad saying, you cannot question God. But when the Muslim one, they can question God. You cannot question God. But in a second, they can. Now, look what he said here. This Abdul, who is, you know, those Abdul, by the way, they are priceless. They help us a lot to expose Islam. The one who made comment and the one who called us. So does God regret having made a human? No, God don't regret. 
when God he speak he regret he regret what happened to Adam what Adam did to himself which means he feels sorry for him however he continues saying because a human have eaten forbidden fruit but this is a story in your Quran you idiot and look like you are making fun of your prophet and then then God he sent himself to be his son nowhere in we Christian we believe in such a thing that he sent himself to be his son the son is a son the father is the father but here you see why Christianity is the most beautiful belief and they have a true God Oh, Jihad is calling back. What Jihad? Why are you are calling back? Yeah, so nobody can say I'm running away. Oh, you are the hero, my friend. Oh. Okay, so we go back to our topic. So, did 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 Allah? Okay, the three daughters. The three daughters. Uh huh. Okay. That was the satanic verse that Allah abrogated. I'm not talking about this now. I'm saying, do Allah have a three daughters reading? No. He don't. No. Okay. So, what do you think about uh, your prophet sending uh, Khalid ibn Walid uh, to kill the daughter of Allah? Saying what? What is your say about your prophet sending Khalid ibn Walid to kill the daughter of Allah? Khalid ibn al-Walid mm -hmm. is that in the Quran no not in the Quran this is from your your prophet statement it's in a hadith mm -hmm. well I... so is it can you put the reference okay but I'm asking you now, before we put the reference. Uh, I don't agree that Allah has daughter. So how Muhammad he sent his man to kill his daughter? It's not true. Well, okay, let us see. It's uh, not a true hadith. It's not a true hadith. Uh, And why is it if, if your sins are going to be forgiven, why God did not put more prayers on you, put more sacrifice on you, put we, we more atonement just on you? We will go back there. Why he just Hold sent on. the don't, man don't, don't you talk. and let him be killed and just, humiliated just to... Just wait, wait, one by one. You don't go there until we finish this one. We will go. We have time. You said you will not run. I like that. No. But I don't have that much long. Okay, well, I don't know. I, I have time. You don't. This is your problem, my friend. This is not my problem. Stay, and we will see. Here we go. I will this do what I can to bust this you. This is the book. This is the book of. Uh, let's see here. Hold on. Give me a second. Let us see. All right. I will put it for you on the screen, and you can read for us. This is the story. This is the book of Al-Bidayah and Nihaya, Ibn Kathir. So you cannot say this is Shia book. Your prophet, Muhammad, he sent uh, uh, Khalid ibn walid and he sent him in a mission. And the mission is to find 
Al-Huzza and to kill her. So Khalid, he went there. If somebody has the link in English, post it, please, for people who speak English. So uh, uh, he sent him there, and this Khalid, he, you know, he cut a tree, he destroyed a house, he did whatever, you know. Muhammad, he sent him back. He said, you're not done. You're not done. So he said to him, go back. And then when he went back, he found the women. And this woman, she was black. And her hair was all over her head, like, you know, it's not camp. And she was screaming. And then he jumped over her with the sword. And then he killed her. And he says, Ya Uzza, kafarnaki la sabahnaki. O oh, Uzza, we are became kafir against you, and we will not praise you. And I see that Allah, he humiliated you. And then he destroyed the house, and he took all the money inside. He's a thief, like he's a prophet. And then he went back, and he told Muhammad, and then Muhammad, he said to him, that was Al-Uzza. Don't ever worship it. Do you see it? Don't worship her. Yeah. But he said, this is Al-Uzza. So how Al-Uzza is a fiction, and Muhammad, he killed Al-Uzza, the daughter of Allah. But but she's not the daughter of Allah. No, this is Al-Uzza, the daughter of Allah. The goddess, even here it says, talking about the goddess. So, this is the daughter of Allah, and Muhammad, he claimed that he sent... Where does it say that? Okay, hold on. Who is Al-Uzza? Who is Al-Uzza? The goddess. In front of you, it says, and don't worship her. Why? So because because they worship her. She is the goddess. You are an idiot or what? It says, and don't worship her. Why? It doesn't why? mean daughter. Oh, okay. Why do they worship her? Because she is an Uzza. <laughs> he says, to where it says that. I mean, what an idiot. It's in the front of you. It says that she is being worshipped. Who? Al Uzza. Who is Al Uzza? Is in the Quran mentioned Al Uzza is the daughter of Allah. And you're a prophet, he stole the money of that woman who is she's the daughter of Allah. So you're a prophet, he agreed that Allah had the three daughters and he called one of them. And then when he came back where, 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 where does it where, where does it say daughter? Well who is Al Uzza? Bint. Who is Al Uzza? Who is Al Uzza? The one the the people worship. The daughter of Allah, right? She is it Al-Uzza? No, is it Al-Uzza? She's a it? false goddess. Uh, okay, hold on. But how she is false and she is real exist and Muhammad he killed her. But Muhammad, she's, she's not she's what? not a true god. My she's friend, not my true. Friend. She is not a true or she is exist. If she exists, she's not true. How she can be not a true if she is exist? And she's not a true goddess. Okay, she's hold on, hold on, God. hold on. Does the Quran say, ah, so when the Quran says, have you seen Allah and Al-Uzza? Have you seen? Does the Quran say, have you seen? Huh? Huh? When the Quran says, have you seen? Say it again. Have you seen? Afara'aytumu Allata wal Uzza? Have you seen? Does the Quran say the word seen? Have you seen? Yeah, but this is what I told you okay. was abrogated. So, hold on. Don't tell me abrogated, this, idiot. The, what does have to do with our topic? What abrogated? I'm saying to you now. In the time of Muhammad, Muhammad, he claimed that the Arab, they see Allah and they see al Uzza. But these were abrogated. CP. This is another question. Have they seen it or they did not see it? Did they? Did Muhammad, did the Arab, did Khalid, did these people see Allah and Al Uzza and Manat? Did they see it in the three daughters of Allah or not? No. So the Quran lied then because here it says, Have you seen? No, it says, Have you seen it? Yeah. Have you 
Have you seen a lot of the Afaraitum a lot of the Hussein? They didn't see it. No, they didn't see it because he's saying, Have you seen it? Have you seen a lot of the Uzza? Seen, no, he's seen he is confirming. He is confirming. He, no, is, he is confirming that they saw, not the opposite. He did not say they are not exist. Not only that. How, look how you got Allah. Question. Look, you got Allah. He complained about what? He said, like what? For you, the meal. Six, this verse is abrogated, the, my friend. Okay, is abrogated. Is abrogated. What does that mean? So you Muslim, you used to worship Allah and Al-Uzza and now you should not worship him no more? What do you mean by abrogated? The Prophet stopped all this. Whoever did this, he stopped it. Okay, so he stopped you it. are the one who said to me, Muhammad, before his age of 40, he was following the community. So you're a Prophet for 40 years was worshipping Allah and Al-Uzza and Manat, correct? I didn't say that. I just said he... He was, you see, he he was, he knew something wrong with. Uh, no, no, no! You don't don't with don't his lie. society. As you had it recorded. It's you who said he was doing what the community do. You said that. Come on. Why? But in his heart, he was doing what the community he did, he did. does. You know, it's it's a, it's your statement. And this is what the community do. They worship the three doors of Allah. And now we show you the reference. You're a prophet sending his man, Muhammad the criminal, to kill a woman claiming that she is the daughter of Why he killed that woman? Tell me, go ahead. Why he killed her? If she is not really the daughter of Allah. Just because she is like a woman, her hair is crazy, and she starts screaming, you kill her? Why he killed her? Go ahead. Uh, squeeze it, no problem. I'm telling you, it's going to come. I am asking you, don't change the topic. I am. If this woman, I am telling Muhammad, you, when Muhammad, he said, This is I this is Al Uzza. You. When Muhammad he said, This is Al Uzza, Tilka Al Uzza. Okay, so he confirmed that this is Al Uzza. So, this is what they used to was worship. Muhammad, okay, was Jahidi, Muhammad, no problem. They used to so. worship this woman. So, was she really exist and Muhammad killed her? She exists, but she's false. Okay, so guys, she is exist, but she is false. Oh. But those people, they are worshipping Al-Uzza for centuries. So this woman, she lived for many centuries, which she is. She lived in that area, in, in, in Mecca, for centuries and centuries. And those Arabs, they worship the three daughters, and they live there for centuries. Are they Damn human? Uh, are they human? They are human. They are women. As you see, it says here, it's a woman. She has a black hair oh. and she's black. Did he kill her because she's black? Why here the reference says she's black? She's black? Yeah, why he's saying? Imra'a Sauda'un. Don't you see it says Imra'a Sauda. A black woman. Why Why Muhammad, you want to kill a okay, black woman? Okay, are you going to answer my question about the Bible? Okay, so you, now, okay, we, we will say that you have no answer. Obviously, Islam is full of fiction, stupidity, and here we go. Muhammad is a pagan person, and now he is in competition. He don't like okay. the daughter I'm of Allah. Call, okay. okay, I'm going to call you next next time. No, don't call me. Call don't call me next time. Now, let us answer the oh. question you, you asked me. What is, uh, repeat your question again. Go. I'm telling you, I'm asking you, yeah. if God is going I, has, I, I lost you. He if, has, if God why he what? has to send a man to be humiliated? Well, who said that God has sent a man to be humiliated? He, he did not. He did not send him to be uh, to be humiliated. It's us who did the crime against him. But what? Okay, let me ask tell you. you fast, okay, did, did Allah Please. did, did Allah did Allah he send Muhammad? Did, uh, did Allah send Muhammad to the people of Taif? And the people of Taif they spank him and they beat him and they humiliated him and they broke his teeth and they made him bleed. Yes or not? They did, right? I can show the reference. So, did Allah send Muhammad to a Taif to be humiliated? But he's... He's what? 
No, no, it's different, man. It's different. What, what different? What different? So Muhammad, because your Muhammad claim was is... beaten. Muhammad was spit uh, out. Muhammad in... was etc. They made fun of him, and Allah He sent him to be humiliated. Why Allah did not say to him, "Don't go"? Here you see the hypocrisy. For us, we know that God He loved the world, so He sent His only begotten Son. Oh, no, you're we... not understanding. Okay, you uh, see, you see, you, the Quran says God will not punish you unless He send you a warner. Correct? Or sins. For sins to for, die for sins, he didn't send for sins. Well, when I'm saying say, why he sent somebody okay. to be humiliated for. No, he is not sending anyone to be humiliated, and Muslims they always fabricate stories. It's not there. Like Mary, she is the wife of God. We don't believe in such a garbage. So we don't believe that Jesus was sent to be humiliated. We believe that Jesus sent to save us. So if some of us commit a crime, but how he's going to save you? Why? He, very, he simple, very, more, very, very, very simple. If he's going to save you, very simple. He cannot put more fasting, more praying, more this. No, you see, in Christianity, we fast more than you. You Muslim, you don't fast. Your Ramadan is a joke. You just flip the day night, and you sleep in the night. In the daytime, you wake up in the nighttime, and you eat like a goat. In Christianity, we have a lot more days of fasting. As That's an example, shut up. In the Christianity, those who follow the Orthodox calendar, or even the Catholic, it's true. They, hold on. For the Easter, we have 50 days of fasting. For the other occasion, we have 40 days, total at least of 90 days of fasting. Total fasting. Your fasting is a joke, you don't fast. Secondly, yeah, nobody practices. Secondly, nobody secondly does it. you're a prophet. He sucked the tongue of Aisha when he's fasting. He played with her vagina. In USA, touch, in hold USA, on, hold on. Do is, it, is it halal for the prophet to suck the tongue of Aisha when he's fasting? Is it halal to touch her private part? What kind of fasting this fasting is? So your fasting is a joke. You don't fast. In the same time, you you just switch the day and night and you eat more. This is why the price of food why? in the month of Ramadan goes skyrocketing. Secondly, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you: Where Muhammad he get his fasting teaching from? Why one man can save sins? Why you do not have more prayers, more duties? Instead okay, of hold on, okay. hold on. You keep this talking about the duty. Uh, I, cannot, I, cannot, I cannot hear you. Your voice is not clear. Listen, he keep talking about more prayer. We Christian, we pray more than you. All day we can be a prayer. You Muslim, you pray five times a day for, for five minutes. You repeat the same stupid thing. You're not even praying. Bismillah rahman rahim Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Five words. You are done. This is not a prayer. You are even repeating the same word of Allah. No, you so, have to re hold recite on, hold on. more Quran. No, you don't. You don't. You recite the same words which Muhammad, he said, claiming that Allah said to him, so what is your prayer? You are just a, 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 a parrot. You are a bird who repeat like a, like a phone machine. You know, when you receive this beep, beep, give us your message. You don't even give a message to Allah. You say to him what he said to you. Have you ever heard of a stupid religion like this? You call your God five times a day and you tell him what he said not what you said this is al-fatiha in front of you in the name of allah this is what you say to allah i mean you are talking to allah now you said to him in the name of allah the most gracious and then praise me to allah so every day i will call allah five times i will say to him bismillah ar-rahman ar-rahim alhamdulillah rabbil alameen ar-rahman ar-rahim maliki yom deed but my my friend the christians in the usa the christians bye have you ever heard of a stupid prayer like this? Where is the prayer? There's no prayer. So you are repeating yourself five times a day saying what Allah he said. So imagine there's somebody call me in sky five times a day. I say hello. He said to me, Christian Prince, in the name of Allah, the most merciful, very great source. Bismillah. I mean, what the heck? <laughs> so what is the prayer? You don't what is know? wrong with you? Why are you? Why are you? No, why are you I'm just asking like, you in the front of everybody. Where is the prayer? Where, I'm asking you, you Abdul. I'm asking you in front of everybody. Where is your prayer? I'm listening. This is not your prayer. This is Allah prayer. Where is your prayer? Okay. First of all, first of all, we say Al Fatiha, mm. and then we we say another Quran verse, and no, we need don't. to memorize. No, you don't. Which takes no, mental. You don't. You, you don't. This is the prayer. What are you talking about? You say Fatiha and then you say another Quran verse. What Quran verse? Okay. Salih. What does it have to do with the prayer? Okay. Allah is saying to you, you say to Allah, hold on, guys. He said to Allah, what does that mean? 
Anything, any verses, my friend. No, you no, say, you, you just say, you no, know, people, they like to memorize you just the short say, Allah, one. he gave Muhammad al kawthar What is that? His penis? No, no, no. A man, a man, he's back. A man, he's back. No, 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 no. Okay, don't, so don't. Now you are praying for the penis of Muhammad. Hold on. Everybody is my witness. You are the one who said we pray. We mentioned this chapter. Okay, okay. Well, then, which is a stupid lie to say. But anyway. What does have to do with your prayer to Allah? Allah no, this is Muhammad. about the abundance of good. What the abundance, abundance of good? Of good. What this of this good? life and the hereafter. A person, he accused your prophet that his penis doesn't work. It cut off. That's not true. Read that, 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 okay, that, 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 okay, read verse that, number. That, okay, read verse number three. Don't say, don't say these, my friends. Don't, my, my okay, friends. I'm not saying Do not say it's bad the, the, verse, the verse in the front of you. Read it. What kind of God? He says such a chapter. The guy accused Muhammad. That this is a lie to say. No, no. This is a lie to say okay, that the prophet on, hold on. had such a problem. Okay, does it say in Arabic? He did not in have such a problem. Does it say in Arabic? In the Shani Akahu al Abtar, cut off, cut off, cut off from what? What is cut off? The guy who was making fun of him. Cut that off. Yeah, cut off. Yeah, cut off from what? Cut off from all good and prosperity, uh, and is deprived of spiritual is it, is it, is it about, issues. But it's about his is it enemy. About because is it about Muhammad? He cannot have ch children. Yes or no? He have children. No, he don't. He can. He didn't have a son. No, he okay, have so children. He no, have he daughters. Never, Muhammad, he never have a child. This is a lie. Fatima. Fatima is not his daughter. Fatima is the daughter of Khadija from previous husband. Khadija, she have three husbands. Khadija, she have three husbands. Muhammad is number three. She changed cars every few years. She is rich. She marry men for fun. And those children are not from Muhammad. Muhammad is a person who cannot have sex. And they're proven in front of you. Let us go. No, 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 okay. no, no. Shall we go and read the interpretation for the, for the chapter? Do you agree? If we go and read the interpretation. Chapter 106. Is it about Muhammad cannot Wait. have? Is it about Muhammad? He cannot have babies, or I'm making things up. Maybe there was a few people who accused him. Uh, okay, but is it true that it's about him cannot have babies? Yes or no? He had daughters. This is not the question. No, he don't have daughters. This is why they are making fun of him. Because simply, if you have, if you have, they will not make fun of him. Hmm? Muhammad was an impotent man. How many wives Muhammad he married? How many? How many of them no. they gave him babies? Can you tell me? How many wives what Muhammad he have, and how many of them gave him babies? Is it does it make sense that the woman Khadija? Khadija she was more. But, the, but she, he didn't she, hit my friend. Khadija my she friend. was way older than him. Babies. Muhammad, when he married Khadija, obviously Khadija, she cannot have babies no more because she was way older and she have her babies already. Now, after that, he married Aisha, he married tons of women. How come none of them gave him babies? Because the Prophet didn't come for babies. Ah, but here, he came to deliver okay, a message. Why Allah did not make him have babies? Here we go. The people are making fun of him that he have no son. And even you Muslim, you claim that uh, he have sex with the slave Maria the Copt, and he have a son from her. His name is, is Abdullah. But all of us, we knew that Aisha, she was making fun of that, saying, he don't even look like you. This is a slave. She sleep with everybody. And obviously, Muhammad, he cannot have babies. Let me ask you. Allah, he did not send Muhammad to have babies. Allah, he sent Muhammad to have sex with many women. Why? Why Muhammad don't have only one Aisha and that's it? That's it. He have Aisha now. She is a young, very young child. Because most of those women were widows and he was taking care of them. Oh, he take care of them by ha by having sex with them. You cannot take care of a woman without having like... I, I, and so if there's a woman, she is hungry, I have to sleep with her in order to feed her? 
So if somebody want to make a donation for a woman, he, he said to her, you have to take off your pants for me? But no, but but he but but he married them, so obviously he okay. had he married, the right he, to, he married to do his marital. What you know, so does she have a childrens? They can take care of her. all of the women. He married them. They are not poor. Why he married them? Let me ask you: Did your prophet? He made a chapter in the Quran says women they can offer themselves to the prophet so he can f them. Okay, CP, that's enough for what? one day. Okay. Let me just uh, no, just just this one before we go. My on. friend, just one, what, just one. What does this have to do with God? Why does God? He made a verse saying, "Any woman she can offer herself to the prophet so he can f her." What does this have to do with God? What that will do to Islam? What that will reach Allah? I mean, okay, Allah is God supposed to, right? I will think about saying, it. Huh? What does it have to do with God? The prophet, the prophet, he was a very good-looking man. Ah, he's a very good-looking man. He is sexy, and you know it. So, guys, he was very sexy. So, Allah, he he he, he need to solve the problem. All the women they want to uh, f him. So, the prophet, he made a verse. Allah sent him a verse. Says, any woman she want to have sex with you, she can offer her panty for you. This is the logic. Because the prophet, he needs to be. He. He needs to be happy. He ah, needs to so, be so the happy, comfortable. Okay, in order to make the Prophet happy, we have to ask all Muslim women to take off their panties and bend over in front of Muhammad. Otherwise, the Prophet is not happy. And then Allah and is he not took happy. care of them. And he took care How of them. How he take he care, took of care of them? Guys, them. did you hear it? They bend over and he took My care friend, of them. My friend, why are you talking in this? Why are you I'm twisting you, things uh, in what this way? To do? You said, why? Look, it's you who said that. It's you who said he is very handsome. It is you who said that because Allah he want him to be happy which means he want his penis to be happy it's sex is about sex Muhammad already had many wives why Allah he made the verses saying any woman she want to offer himself what that had to do with God you said because he want to make the prophet happy so your prophet happiness is through his penis and when the penis of Muhammad is happy Allah is happy this is a penis God religion even when you go to heaven Allah he do what to you he, he, you know, he reward your penis. So, my friend, he's the prophet. So he's what if he's a prophet? prophet? So he, so if he's a he, prophet, he, 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 he has a very hard job. Uh, what hard job? He's having sex with all those women. Is that the job? What is the job? If a man is a prophet of God, should not have time even for those women. But your prophet obviously is not a prophet. He has, he has time to have sex. All those women offering themselves. And my now he's saying to me, all he's a day long, the prop, my friend, you have to understand about the prophet all day long. He is listening to the problems of people. He is ah, mediating dispute. Is he is giving to, advice I, I to people. Here, oh, I am here almost every day for five, six hours. Now those women who they are listening to me, excuse me, ladies there, they have to sleep with me because I am listening to them. What kind of excuse that is this? Are you, aren't you ashamed of yourself? So now Moses, as he said, if you want, because I am serving you as a nation, oh, oh, I am your leader, see, your wives have to sleep listen with me. To me. You can have four wives in Judaism. No, no, you cannot. That's a lie. Yes, you can. Okay, 100 percent. Okay, show me the verse. I'm gonna get a video of a rabbi. Ah, uh, go ahead, get a rabbi, a rabbi. The Bible says a, a man shall not multiply his wives. If he do that, he is breaking the law of God. He shall not. There multiply. is a rabbi who said it. He is a stupid like you. Just go, find it, and call me back. Potato, a rabbi. Who care about rabbis? We have the Bible, my friend. Stupidity is amazing. So why God he need to send his son? Well, his son is holy. His son is amazing. His son, he don't sleep with women. His son, he did not ask for money. His son, he did not even own a donkey. His son, he never owned a slave. And yet he can raise people from death. And he can make the blind see. And he can heal the leper. And he can heal people by just saying to them, carry your bed and walk. That is Jesus. So Jesus, he came not to be humiliated if this is your logic well i am humiliating your god allah right now according to your logic did allah created me to humiliate him if allah is the creator very stupid logic so man he do what he think is good for him it might be bad it might be good so stop playing games god he sent his only begotten son because he loved the world, not because he hated the world. For God, he loved the world. 
Not because God, he sent Jesus to be humiliated and Jesus sent himself. That is your own fiction lie. You repeat it to yourself. For God loved the world. And the word here is a clear message for those who they are racist. You cannot be racist and you are Christian. God, he loved the black. God, he loved the Asian. God loved the, the white. It doesn't matter who we are. God, he loved the whole world. So he sent his only begotten son. And what that would do? So whoever believe in him will be saved. So the mission of Jesus is, I am your final choice and your final opportunity. You can do to me whatever you want. He said to them, you can destroy this temple, speaking about his body, and I will rebuild it in three days. And the number three here is significant of, of uh, proving of the power of God. Again, symbolic for the three, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. So Jesus did not need to be saved. You can destroy this temple and I will build it in three days. You do not need to be saved. Some idiot they say to you, well, Jesus, he don't save himself. Who said he did not? No grave can contain him and no death can take him. And even in the cult of Islam, Jesus right now is alive up in heaven. So when a Muslim, he made a statement trying to make fun of our belief as a Christians, we feel sorry for you, my friend. You are going to go to hell to the horny prophet room, bedroom, and he will be busy doing boom, boom to you. And then he says, you need to effort being a good person and helping each other. Pay the church to erase your sin. That is in Islam only, not in Christianity. Anyone who pay a church, he don't pay a church for erasing his sin. But that is in your religion, you idiot. If we go right now, if we go right now, that is not a rabbi, you idiot. I know this guy, this is a donkey. If you go right now to the Quran, you will see that the one who pay Allah, Allah erase his sin. Don't go, I will not take more call. Fatima, Sheikh Fatima. At least for now. If you go in the Quran, you will see the following. The one who pay Muhammad, Allah will double him and he will forgive his sin. Chapter 64, verse number 17. Do you see it? Where is the money will go? Will go to the pocket of Muhammad. And what will happen if you pay Muhammad money? Allah will forgive your sin. This is why Muhammad, he promised 10 people to go to heaven. All of them, they give money to Muhammad. Starting from the most rich person in Quraysh, Uthman. He promised him heaven. And later, the Muslims, they cut his head. They took the hair of his beard one by one. And they made his head a poly ball. And then they refused to bury him with the Muslims. And each time they bury him, they take him from the grave and they drag him in the ground. And then a bunch of Muslims, they took him in secret and they buried him between the Jews so nobody will find him. It's your religion who believe if you pay Muhammad, your sin is erased. Would the Christianity know? Jesus said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. Not everyone says to me, God, God. You say you make donation, you do, that doesn't make you good for him. Because no man is good anyway. The good of you is filth. This is what the Bible says. The best good you have is faith compared to God. So, when a Muslim he made a post, in fact, he is describing his own religion to the point even his prophet, he refused to meet people unless they pay him first. I am not a prophet and I take calls and I don't ask people to pay me to receive their call.
Is that a religion? Huh? You cannot lead the Prophet unless you pay him. If you remember, there's a chapter, it's called the Abbasa wa Tawalla. And in the chapter of Al Mujadala, chapter 58, verse number 12. It says, Oh, who you believe, when you consult with the Apostle, then offer something in charity before your consultation. You want to enter to the Prophet in private? Now, come on, bring something with you. Don't go empty handed. The Prophet, he inherited a lot of money from Khadija. The fake Prophet Muhammad, he take the fifth of the booty. And you can imagine how much gold and silver he stole from the Christians and the Jews. And yet, he will not meet you in a private consultation unless you pay him. Then, when a blind man, he come to meet him. What Muhammad he did, chapter 80, verse number 1 and 2. He turned his back away from the blind man. You read the interpretation or the, the book of Asbab al which means the reason for the verse to come down, you will find that a blind man, his name is Ibn Umm Kalthum, he came to Muhammad to meet him, but Muhammad was busy speaking to the rich people of Quraysh. Muhammad, he kicked him out. And then the, those same people, they start saying, what kind of a prophet this prophet is? He treat a blind man like this. So the coward Muhammad, he made this chapter saying, Oh Allah told me don't do that again. Allah is correcting the unethical behavior of a false prophet. Why Muhammad, he regret kicking the man out? Because the Arab, the rich men, they start saying, look at him. Ah, he have time for us. He have no time for the poor. And Muhammad actually, According to the Muslim, they say, the reason Muhammad, he did not, he kicked him out, because he was afraid that the rich men, they will say, look who is around him, the poor one. Muhammad is ashamed of having a poor one to believe in him. That was not Jesus' teaching. That is totally the opposite of Jesus' teaching. And if you don't believe me, we can go right now and see the interpretation. Chapter 80, verse number 1. Because, you know, Muslim will say, it doesn't say that, CP. You know that. Always it doesn't say that, CP. But I'm showing you in the screen. What you say, not me. This is your official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. And by the way, the King of Jordan, he claimed to be descendant from Muhammad, and that explains why he's extremely corrupt. Extremely corrupt. So he phoned and turned away because of the blind man came to him. Okay, what happened? Why? So Ibn Umm Karthum, the man, the son of Umm Karthum, is a blind man. He went to see Muhammad, and he have a question for him. And Muhammad, he was meeting with Utbah, a ah, rich man, huh? Abu Jahl. Man, those are the rich men. Abbas ibn Abdul Muttalib, oh boy. Ubay and Umayyah. Man, those are the most important men in town. He was calling them. To Allah hoping that they might embrace Islam if the rich men embrace Islam the rest will follow Ibn Umm Karthum he stood up says O Messenger of Allah teach me of that which Allah has taught you I mean the guy he did not say anything you see aren't you asking them to join Islam here we go you got a chance a person ask you a question answer it and by the way in that 
you will help everybody to accept Islam. But Muhammad is ignoring him. He don't want to answer him. Why he is not answering? Read carefully. The Prophet, he said to himself, in himself, these chiefs will say his followers consist of only the blind, lowly people and slaves. Do you see it? Muhammad, he washed his hands from the poor people around him. He believed associating himself with the lowly, he called them lowly people, blind man, black man, slave man, lowly. This is not my words. This is your words. And the one who said that to himself, Muhammad himself. So Muhammad was afraid that if he spoke to this man, those people, they will look down at him. Superhero, Stilos, pick up your phone and I will give you $10,000, a potato. Save your $10,000 and give it to Somalia. You are a hypocrite, you don't even have a penny. Get out of here. That is a reason not to answer your phone. You worship money, my friend. Because you want to give me $10,000, if I talk to you, I will not talk to you. See, all those people who call me, they can call me. And now you became suddenly a hero, call me. I'm here for the last four hours, anyone can call me. And now suddenly, when we close the Skype, you will pick up my phone, I will give you $10,000 for a potato. When we stay live on air for four hours saying who wanna call me, you don't call. When we say we close the Skype and we are done for today, suddenly give you $10,000, as if I care for your 10. Go and feed the angry Muslims around the world who they are crossing all the way to Europe, facing death in the ocean just to cross. Go take some Afghani from Afghanistan refugees. They are coming by tens of thousands. You have money, don't you? You have money to build a mosque in New York, but you don't have money to feed the poor Muslims. You have money to build a mosque will cost you $200 million, but you don't have money for people in Somalia, in Afghanistan, in Syria. People are dying there. You have a lot of money. Take your money and save them for a prostitution trip you do to Thailand. Everybody go to the beach. You go to the prostitute. This is why the Lord, he says, from their fruits you shall know them. Everyone, by the way, he goes where he belongs. There's people, they go to a country to see a museum, to see art, to see nature, or maybe to enjoy food. And there's people, they worship sex. That is Muhammad. If I believe in Allah and his messenger, who is obviously he care for the rich, not for the poor, what I will get? Sex. And what else? Sex. And what else? Sex. Okay, and what else? Food. That is Islam. Why people, when we say to them the truth, they get angry? What kind of God, he described his heaven, grab a tree and then he jumped to boobs. Have you ever heard of such a God? Somebody describing his garden, the garden he will give me. He say grape, and then right away after the word the grape, he talk about big boobs. This is your God. So save your $10,000 to get reward of big boobs, the booby God you worship. Isn't it obvious that this is a religion of boobies? You see, I cannot compare between Christ's words and this faith. That is an insult to my Lord. How God he talked like this. You know, the that he was talking about the song of songs but this is not even god talking this is a man writing poet who said this is god
And it's not even about sex. And it's not even about women. Here, this is literally about women. Have you ever heard of a God he described even what is inside the vagina? The vagina is waiting for me. That is Muhammad God. This is religion. If this is religion, what is faith? Any Muslim? If this is religion, what is faith? This God is preparing for us women who their vagina is brand new. What do you want more? And the funny is, each time you have sex with them, Allah he will put his finger there and he will make them virgin again, cheating. I mean, this is officially a cheating. Virgin again, product from China. Middle Eastern women, they buy when their wedding party is coming. The guy, he sees some blood coming, she claimed that she is a virgin. Or a plastic surgery for virginity. Very, very, very well known. They go to Thailand to do their surgeries. It costs you $200. They have a sign for it in the street. Virginity surgery. In Arabic. Because the customers are obviously from somewhere. What is this? And those women, their vagina never been touched, never been boom boom, not even by genie. Genie? This is religion? There's a God, he teach you that genie have sex with women too? Genie in the ball? If you see a woman, she have a ball with her, be aware she might have her boyfriend, he's a genie. Genie in the ball. She take him with her in a trip to do boom boom. But who is with you in the ball? Genie. Who, what is his name? Genie in the ball. And the funny Mr. Jihad, he said to us, the Shia, they have a lot of fairy tale stories. We found that Buddha, Adam was Buddha. Adam was Buddha. That's a good one, is it? Adam, he land down in a mountain called Buddha. Why? Let me see if I can open this link here. Uh, this library there and there. Uh... Their website is not really that good. They have a very bad hosting company. See, each time I try to open it, it says the site can't be reached. Hold on, let me see. So I can share the link with you. And you know, the funny thing is, each time I say something to Muslims, uh, they say, we never heard this before. That's why I'm here. You never heard this before. This is exactly why I'm here.
I'm trying to find it in different website. Okay. All right, I will give you this link. This link is better. This is Tafsir al Qurtubi. And this is very number uh, one, page number 301 in this print. Remember that sometimes reference can be different between prints. And this is Tafsir of chapter 2, verse number 36 in the Quran. Let me pause the link for you. You can use Google Translation, and actually I would do that in the front of your eyes. Give me a second. This is the link for those who they are saving reference and they like to save reference. And now we go. Let me close some pages. All right. So here this is an Islamic website, as you see, we are not using a Christian website. This is the interpretation for chapter 2, verse number 36 in the book of Al-Qurtubi. Al-Qurtubi is one of the famous Imams for Muslims, Imams being a scholar. This is in Arabic, and we don't have it in English. However, we are going to use Google Translation. Simply you open it with Google a Browser, you click at, uh, click at Translate to English. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice. So, volume number one, page number 301. And here it says that when Adam, you know, when Allah, he sent to Adam, go down. Uh, the translation is not too much good, but it's okay because this is about Arabic grammar. Uh, so let's skip this part and then <coughs> it says um, yeah and they descended uh, from the from the top to the bottom Adam was descended to Sarandeep in India Mount which is called Buddha and with uh, or Buddha here in the translation. In other Google translation, it says Buddha literally. Uh, and the wind of paradise was touching his head. This is why he became bold. It's not really a good translation. So Muslim books is like a, a mosaic exposing the fictions of Islam. Islam is a collection of stupid stories. None of them make sense. Zero of them make sense. And the second, you face the Muslims with their nonsense books. They do not know what to say. Their book makes sense as long you don't question it, you just read it. The second you decide just to question, or question what they are saying, then you will find that none of those books is really, can be fit. Like, you know, one of the funny things, by the way, uh, somebody says to me that the Muslims are proud about a guy, his name, Ibn Battuta. Ibn Battuta. And uh, they say he is uh, one of the most famous historian who wrote about uh, discovery before, uh, you know, like all those famous names we know from the West. Ibn Battuta is a fraud. As an example, Ibn Battuta, he claimed that he went to an island, and this island, the women there, they have a three breasts. So this guy, you know, he's a fraud, he's a liar. You know, he, he makes fiction stories. He claimed that he went to places he's never been there. And, and they are mentioning him about al qurtabi and Al-Tabari. And so Ibn, 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 Ibn Battuta is ex ex explaining Islam. Uh, if you go here, <coughs> you will see that uh, there's some of the people believe in Adam 
and he came down to the earth let's see hold on this is Sahih Ibn Khuzayma anyway the story we don't repeat the story again and again but obviously those stories are none of them make sense and all of them is stupid to the point you know you cannot be a person who lived in 2021 and you believe in them you cannot simply if I search Ibn Battuta Uh, I find nothing here. Anyway, <clears throat> do we have any question? Again, remember that those for they say that my videos are missing. I don't keep my videos, and today I'm going to do some cleaning. In case you do not know that. So download them before we take them down. Any Abdul? Yeah, he claimed that women they have a three breast, which is a true right away, you know. I mean, obviously. I just received a warning from uh, from YouTube. I, I, I use a video. I have no copyright of it. Unbelievable. Hey, Muhammad Qasim, come tomorrow, maybe. We are done for today. We have enough, uh, you know, comedy. All right. Anyway, I recorded this video, so if if YouTube take it down, I will repost it. Don't worry. So those who they have the video, uh, I mean, it might become unavailable. We call you Muhammad Qasim in the beginning, you did not answer. Any other question before we go? You can ask me the question here, you do not need to call me. All right. So, guys, I want to say thank you, and let us see, let us uh, respond to YouTube about their claim, because we did not even use what thirty second of the video. The video I made uh, not the, yesterday, the day before, they placed uh, a commercial on it because we played a little song, like not even a song. It's like like two two second of uh, sexy, and you know it, you know. And then they claim that uh, this is copyrighted, and yeah. Anyway, were the sons of Adam messengers? Well, according to Islam, you know, obviously they were actually, you know. But I believe, you see, messenger, anyone is a, is a messenger. A message, if somebody come to you with message and this message is supposedly from God, well, he is a messenger, regardless if he is true or false. However, uh, you know, uh, the children of Adam, we cannot say they are messengers, but we can say they are teachers of their families, you know, because they learn something from their father and they carry on teaching their children. So they can be messengers, yeah, but not literally, really, you know. Like I have a message for you, I will deliver the message for you. Yeah, that's why we keep cleaning them, we keep taking down, because always they try to find a reason to flag them and take them down. All right. Anyway, if this video they will take it down, I will I will re-edit it and repost it again, so you guys don't lose it. Because remember, we have the Abduls, and we will stop. And I'm not going to pause the whole thing. We will stop where the Abdul hang up. So anyway, I want to say thank you guys for being here, and until we see you soon again, I say may the Lord bless you. And as you see, uh, Muslims have no answer for the religion, and they do not know even the religion. And in the same time, they claim. And they ask why I don't debate their scholars. The question is, where are their scholars? There's no scholars in Islam. And nobody can claim to be a scholar in Islam from the Muslims. 
because in Islam nobody question in order to be a scholar to be a scholar in something you have to question things and then you search it study it and then you find answers Muslim don't search to question they don't even search they are just copy paste people like if you ask a Muslim Allah in the Quran says that Jews worship a guy his name is Hosea where he got this from no answer nobody want to search Muhammad he says Mary is the sister of Aaron where is coming from they don't want to search Isa is the name of Jesus how that happened where is Isa coming from nobody want to search they are just copy paste people no knowledge no answer no religion and the reason the, the, the result of this is a confusion same time if you ask them about heaven all of them they are so excited to tell you about the big boobs of the women how big their boobs are so as long as the question is about you know sex silly stuff they are right there to answer you the second you start questioning about the nature of God how this God is they say to you those questions you should not ask any religion any belief they say to you there's a question we should not ask obviously they are saying to you we are invalid imagine you have to sign an agreement to join something and you cannot question it obviously that is a dictator cult and the reason they don't want you to question because obviously they have no answer for the questions if they have answers they will answer Anyway, guys, let us see what YouTube is sending me and because they send another message again. So until we see you again, may the Lord bless you. And uh, if not tomorrow, the day after, uh, we will see when we go live in air again. And remember one thing, that we give our books for free, uh, most of them, uh, in many languages. And lately I posted the last uh, translation for uh, Quran and Science in Depth to the Russian. So if you are a person who speaks Russian, Please don't forget to spread this book for free. Don't ever sell it. It's for free. Um, same time, we have many other languages. And if you are a person who speak Korean, Chinese, etc., I uh, encourage you to contact me. And uh, so we can talk about if you can help us to translate to those languages because your help is needed. We want the whole world to see the truth and the truth will set them free. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord, Islam is false. And God bless you all. Take care.